All right, all right, man. If that didn't get you going this evening, I don't know what will, man. Shout out to Dead the Rabbit. He said, "Big Cat, I don't believe in God." I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, one day I hope you uh, get a chance to atone for that, my brother. Hey, everybody! I'm your host, Grenade Guy, to also known as the Big Cat. Cool but pause up. <laughs> if you're rocking with the Big Cat. <laughs> Hope you find, figure that shit out before it's too late. <laughs> End up in a dark room. Who, who, who is that? <laughs> who the fuck is that? <laughs> Nigga said he don't believe in God. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I'm going to leave that one alone. All right, everybody. Hey, everybody. I'm your host. <laughs> <laughs> nah, let me chill, chill, chill. Hey, everybody. I'm your host. I'm running God. To also, I'm going to big cap my cookie. Put your paws up. If you're rocking with the big cat, man, another spindiblous day today. I'm sorry for being tardy tonight. Again, it's a late night. I told you I'm up late. I burned I burn the midnight oil. You know what I mean? Woke up. I had a great day today, y'all. Um, I got up and went to the junkyard, took a couple load of scrap. You know what I mean? So uh, that was tea. I think I strained my back muscle picking up scrap. Um, came back home, rested out. I got the news about J.C. Horn. Hurt again. You know what I mean? At this point with J.C. Horn, I mean, it's, it's like it's like a magician teaching another magician a magic trick. It's not even a surprise that he hurt again, okay? But we'll, I, I'll divulge a little more feelings into it here in just a minute. But uh, came back home from scrap, man. Went furniture shopping, purchased some nice furniture downstairs for the living room. Um, What else, man? Went clothes shopping and shit. I just just had a great day, man. I, just, I mean, listen, God is good, brother. I mean, I can't say too much. Just just decompressing, decompressing from stress and stuff. And um, yeah. So uh, that's where I've been all day. So I just got back in not too long ago and um, had a nice little meal. Tomorrow I'm taking the family to Longhorns, get a little Father's Day present out the way for all the men in the family and shit. So um. We blessed. <laughs> we blessed, man. My father can't be so good. You know what I mean? My God is good, brother. Know about your God or who you worship. That's your problem. But I'm good, and hopefully you guys are good. But today is I come with you with somber but exciting news. So you guys in the chat, you let me know what you want me to do first. You want me to come with the somberality? The somber news is J.C. Horn back in the boot again. Looked like he could be down for a couple of weeks. All right, so I'm going to give you my thoughts on that. Shout out to Stephen Venemo for uh, that Venmo. Stephen Venemo says, we are, what, four weeks into a long off season. We have June, July, and August to see Bryce Young learn to be an NFL quarterback. W what is the rush? Ooh. So Stephen Venemo said, why are we rushing him into the number one spot? Mm. Stay right there. I'll answer that in a minute. So and to, to, to lead you guys to the next topic, the good news is, Bryce Young has been promoted to uh, number one quarterback. Do you care? Hey, listen, y'all. I, I, to me, you know, this was, you know, people are jumping around and saying, okay, finally he's number one quarterback. I, I'm going to tell you how I feel about it, okay? It's nothing bad. It's nothing bad. So don't don't think I'm a trip. But it's, I don't see what the, what the hoopla is about. Uh, I mean, I, I'll tell you here in just a minute, okay? All right, let's get into it. Let me show you some love in the chat. Oh, today's episode brought to you by PrizePick, prizepicks.com, official sponsor of the Panthers on Sensor, Keep Pounding TV podcast. Oh, first time use that. Use my promo code Keep Pounding. We'll receive 100% deposit match up to $100. That means if you deposit $100, they'll give you $100. You deposit $20, $10, $50, anything that matches up to $100, they'll give it to you. How does it work? You simply choose between two and six players and where they go over the projected number. For example, tomorrow's game three, will Jokovic have over. Uh, 10 assists, more, less. Jimmy Butler, he have over 30 points, more, less. Um, uh, uh, what's the white man name from uh, Miami Heat? The one uh, that paid with LeBron. Will that nigga have more than five rebounds, more, less? Bam Alabalo, will he have over two blocks, more, less? You pick a five, to, you pick a two to six man lineup, you get all six correct, you get 25 times your money, okay? Now you don't have to play a you don't have to play a five man lineup, six man lineup. You can play a five man lineup, four man lineup, three man lineup, two man lineup. But if you want a twenty five times your money, use the promo code Keep Pounding. Choose a six man lineup. All right. 
but you don't have to pick that. All right, prize pick the official sponsor, Panthers Uncensored, Key Powder TV Podcast. Also, man, look if you're looking to go to any game this year, use the promo code Keep Pounding TV. Seek Geek, Seek Geek, the smart way to buy. Make sure you use the promo code on Keep. I mean, on, on Seek Geek, Keep Pounding TV. Week one, y'all, I will be in the building, and I got really good seats. Big Cat don't do bad seats. Big Cat don't do nosebleeds. You know where I'll be. You'll see me. Ain't hard to miss, okay? So if you want to be in the building with the Big Cat, you want to see, you want, you want to be down there on the floor. You want to get all that. You want to, listen, last time I was in the building, I seen Robbie Anderson get depleted. And, and man, listen, you heard that shit. See, y'all heard it on TV when he got depleted. I heard that shit right there. It sounded like he ran into a truck, you know. So, listen, great seats. If you want to be a part of that, man, make sure you log in to see, get you the promo code Keep Pounding TV, all right? <clears throat> Shout out to Tim Stillens. Will you be at camp? You bet I will be at camp, okay? All right. Let me show you guys some love. Um, yeah, man. Show you some love, man. We'll get, get started, man. So, again, sorry about my delay. Not really sorry. I'm just, I'm living my life, you know what I mean? Just got some new kicks over here. Start there. Got some more kicks. Got my all white up tempos, man. Oh uh, man, I told you guys I'm an up tempo man. So shit, I got the sandals over there, but I got the all white kicks. So regular shit. You know what I mean? We live in our best life, man. That's what we got to do, bro. All right, let's go ahead and get into it, okay? Shout out to Fred. He said them kicks fire. Well, I'm going to the beach in about three weeks. Here, I'm gonna be the sharpest nigga on the beach, bro. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody uh, unreleases. I got the beige white. I mean beige and orange. I got my pandas. I got my up tempo sandals. I got my votes with the matching accessories to go with it. I got my Jordan ones. Ain't nobody on the beach finna be fresher than me on Fourth of July, nigga. <laughs> Y'all wait till Fourth of July to see fireworks. <laughs> wait till I step out the hotel. Ah oh ah oh. Anyway, <laughs> uh, just bless, man. Bless, bless, bless. Okay, let me show you some love in the chat. Okay. All right, shout out the Panthers on top. What's up, baby? Shout out to Donald Dunk. J.C. Horn and I was about to buy his jersey last week. Oh, you was about to buy J.C. Horn's jersey last week. Hey, man, it like J.C. could be, uh, we'll talk about him, okay? Shout out to Tim Astas. Pause up, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Shout out to Martell and the Scat Pack. Bryce is now king. <laughs> now king? I thought he'd been king. <laughs> Ain't nothing, chain. Shout out to MJ. What's up, Mr. Yeah, yeah, man. Big cat. <laughs> I am the yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> From 99 <laughs> to 2000. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Chris. I got the, got the, I got the Keem Aquanu tonight. Shout out to the Hog Mollies. I'm rocking the Keem Aquanu tonight. Shout out to the Hog Mollies. Shout out to, uh, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Mrs. The Queen, Jill Scott, okay? Um, shout out to Tar Heel Cab. Donna B, what's up? How you doing, lady? Shout out to Chris Grigg. How you doing? What's up, Dead Rabbit? Yada, yada, yada. Uh, do, 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 do. who else we got up in here? Do, do, do. Jamarcus McMahon, how you doing? I'm going to get started, y'all. Just one second. Tim Stellens. What's up, Tim Stellens? Can drunk Tammy call in tonight? I don't know where Tammy is. They probably banned her from the phone line. Shout out to Ashley Corbett. What's up, Ashley Corbett? Miss Koo. Paul's up, Miss Koo. Yeah, is that my DMV girl? Shout out to my DMV girl. She said, bless, I had my son yesterday. I got him six Panthers onesie. Congratulations. Congratulations on having your baby, okay? And congratulations on raising him right by getting him Panthers onesies. Congratulations, baby girl. That's a beautiful feeling there. Enjoy, enjoy, okay? Recover well, okay? Shout out to uh, Morgan Captain Mo. What's up, Morgan Captain Mo? Shout out to KDB47. Yo, what's good, baby? What's good? Squad Down Productions, yo. Punch Monkey. What's up, Punch Monkey? What's up, KV Triple? Shout out to all my subscribers. Cool cast, man. I don't call you subscribers. You ain't subscribers over here. If you you my cool cast, okay? All right, man. Let's get started to Demetri Cockton. He said, Goat Big Cat. I'm not the goat, baby. Just a nigga with a mic. That's all, brother. Just give my opinion, okay? Uh, do you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers? Yes? No? Maybe? Do you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers? If you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers, Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, jump in the cash app. Also, uh, follow over at Prize Picks. And let me hear you say I'm blessed. If if you let a cat on a path to say I'm blessed, okay? All right, so where do we want to start here? Do we want to start with good or bad? I start with the bad. Let's get this out the way. 
If you guys ain't been hip to the gang, J.C. Horn is back in a walking boot here. Literally, uh, just, it's irony, man. Life is ironic. It's ironic. It literally, he had an interview with Yahoo Sports, or excuse me, with the Athletic. He had an interview with the Athletic a couple of days ago about people saying he was injury prone, yada, yada, yada. And then literally, this news comes out today that he could be missing OTAs and you know what I mean? Who knows how far he's out, okay? Looks like he's been bitten by the bad luck bug again, all right? The Panthers announced on Thursday that he will not be practicing again this offseason due to injury on his left ankle and foot. According to the team, J.C. Horn was hurt last week and will be in a walking boot for the next few weeks. He has examined by has been examined by Dr. Robert Anderson, specialist, this week and does not need to have surgery to repair this injury. The expectation is J.C. Horn will be ready to go by training camp, and both he and the Panthers will be hoping that this is the last time he misses uh, time due to injury this year, okay? First of all, let me say this, and I, I want to say, uh, you know, sad, man. I hope you get better. I hope you hope you heal up. And um, as a Panther fan, you know, you know who has high expectations, I'm expecting 12 wins. It's sad to see that we get off to this again, okay? J.C. Horn said he's not injury prone, yada, 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 a couple days ago. But look, man, bottom line is this right here. If that thing, what, like a duck, then nine times out of ten, what, it is a duck. If a nigga can't stay healthy, then the inverse action is injured. And so, if, if, listen, I, despite you, you know, not wanting that tag, you got it. You're injury prone. I think this could come back to bite us, man. Not only am I not worried about him, I'm, not only am I worried about him, I'm also worried about Dante Jackson. Now, we, you know, I'm not, let me knock on wood. Let me knock on wood here. I'm not saying, you know, I, I'm not saying there's news out there about him, but we both know them niggas skinny legs and shit, ankles, and, you know, we can't, we can't afford to have that. So this is what I was talking about. When you when you draft him, Jonathan Mingo, and again, I have nothing bad to say about Jonathan Mingo. I think in time, Jonathan Mingo will be a star. But when you're drafting Jonathan Mingo and, and taking him at number two, was that the biggest need on the board? I like to believe that, you know, a lot of people, you guys, a lot of you guys out there, you're claiming Terrence Marshall is going to be the next best thing coming. Then I would have rolled the dice with Terrence Marshall, Adam Thielen, DJ Chalk. I mean, Hayden Hurst. But the real biggest need was edge rusher and cornerback. For the last two seasons, your two starting cornerbacks have been hurt. For two straight seasons. So when you have an opportunity to upgrade your cornerback room, what do you do? You go wide receiver. <laughs> Could come back to bite us here, man. Everybody knows everything about uh, J.C. Horn. If you want to see the best of J.C. Horn, t t turn on the Seattle tape. He was a monster against Seattle Seahawks last year. Everybody knows the potential he got. Everybody was calling him Baby Jalen Ramsey, yada yada yada. And this this is why. And, I, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna like don't take this the wrong way. But when people want to talk about his upside and how good he can be. This is why you can't mention him in the same breast as Sauce Gardner. I put out a poll out there who was the best cornerback in the NFL. People said J.C. Horn. You know, if he played a full season the last couple of years, maybe. But you can't even mention him in the same breath as Sauce Gardner, who was a rookie last year, okay? Very talented, very talented brother here. Uh, but I'm deeply concerned. I'm deeply concerned, man. A lot of you good people say, you know, uh, what he, he broke his wrist. Then he broke his uh he broke his ankle, broke his foot or whatever it was uh, two years ago. Now you have it still have I told you guys, what have I always told you? When you're having lower leg extremity issues, that shit never gets better. It never gets better. Now for him, I guess the bright side about it is he's only broken bone. You know what I mean? Bone, you can, you know, put screws, patch it up and whatever, but even then, man, I mean I mean you ain't got no cartilage or ligament damage there, you know what I mean? But still, it only—I mean, when you plant, when you cut, 
it don't feel right, man. I, I shattered my ankle, uh, shattered my ankle back in, uh, what was that? 2008. My, my foot was on backward. One day, I'm, I don't know if I get flagged, but I'll put the, I'll put the photo on YouTube one day. If you're interested, my fucking foot was on backward. When the doctor took the, cause when it, when it, when it broke, it shattered, it, it fractured, it, like, it, it, like the fucking bone shattered. So they had to like literally take pieces of the bone out during surgery, take pieces of the bone out. Then they had to like bring it together, fill that shit in with, you know what I mean? So, I mean, even though you were able to walk again after X amount of months, shit don't never, my point is never be the same and never best. It's never the same. No matter how many surgeries, no matter how many repairs, and on top of that, your your main and primary function requires your 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 speed and your agility. It's not like you're alignment. Nobody really, you know, like for example, Corbett Corbett blow his knee out and shit like that. You know, he can recover from that. I mean, nobody's requiring him to run a four three four two. You know what I mean? But you have a lower leg extremities and ankle breaks and all that shit like that. You still having foot issues. Your primary job is to rely on your speed and shit, your quickness, your agility. And when you start having little kinks in here with your ankle and your issue, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you this right here. J.C. Horn's probably one roll up away from probably missing another season. I'm telling you that now. It ain't even got to be him twisting his ankle or turning his ankle. It could be some incidental contact. He's probably about one roll up away from being out this motherfucking for another year. I'm going to tell you this right here. I'm scared. I'm scared. The, the young man is very talented. And when he's on his game, he's on his game. He probably is one of the best in the league. But you know, you don't get you don't get a brownie for for being good. I mean, being you know, you don't get a brownie for being good when you're on the field, and but you're not on the field. Right? I mean, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know what we're gonna have to do with him. You can't overly safe him. You know what I mean? This is football, y'all. I mean, what you want me? What you want us to do? Put him in a fucking bubble? <laughs> You want to put bubble tape around him and say, look, nigga, don't turn your ankle? I mean, I I don't know. At this point, I'm, I, you know, I don't know. I ain't saying, listen, I'm not saying trade the young nigga. I'm not saying that either. Don't be stupid here, but shit. You know what I mean? I mean, my man, he fucking around. Like I said, he probably one roll up away and one incident of contact away. What do you want to do? You want to wait till that happens to deal with it? Or you want to, you know? Nigga, we in OTAs, mini camp and shit. Like, I don't know, man. You you you're not even ready for this. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Uh, to me, this might be a precautionary measure. Maybe he started to feel some soreness. Maybe he felt, you know what I mean. And I'm only speculating here. Maybe he was feeling some soreness. Maybe some aches. And probably was like, okay, that just shut this shit down in training camp. Maybe that was the case. You know what I mean? And J.C. Horn don't strike me as a guy who's not tough. I think J.C. Horn has very grit. He has a gritty personality, very tough. I don't think he's out here, you know, trying to skip work. You know what I mean? But this is cause for concern. I was talking to Unc earlier. Shout out to Unc, man. I'm sorry, man. I was, I was out in the street, baby. But uh, I was talking to Unc earlier. I said, man, this is the last thing we need with Bryce Young. I mean, what happens when... You know, let's say J.C. Horn goes down and we're relying on Keith Taylor or whoever else the fuck we relying on, and they get toast. Y'all remember, don't act like y'all don't remember C.J. Henderson getting turned into a piece of toast. Don't act like y'all don't remember that. Bryce Young ain't built to come back from three touchdowns given up by C.J. Henderson. I'm sorry. I love Bryce. He's my king. That's my guy. That's my number one quarterback. But he's not built like that. I told you it's going to take a village around Bryce. You know how they say it takes a village to raise a kid? It takes a village to raise a Bryce. The last thing you need is one of your star defenders. You know what I mean? Already, with, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. Can I really talk? I don't know if I really want to say it, but shit, man. I, I don't know how to feel. Part of me is like, trade this nigga. You know what I mean? Can I be honest with you? I know, that's, I know it's wrong. I know it's wrong. I know it's wrong to feel that way. But you got to think, I'm thinking like a GM. I'm thinking like, this is your, you know, I hate to say this. And I don't mean it's like, you know, slave derogatory shit, but this is your property here. Think about this, bro. It's there right there. Think about this. Take it, take the, take the name, take the face, take the fact that he's from South Carolina, take the fact that everybody loves him, take all that shit off the table. Okay. Now close your eyes. 
Now imagine if JC Horn was a Hellcat or what's your dream car? In the, in the chat real quick, in the chat real quick. Put your dream car in the chat. Whether it be a Hellcat, Scat Pack, put your dream car in there. We're going to make I'm gonna make this real simple for you about JC Horn. Go ahead, put your favorite car in the chat, your dream car. A Urus, who the fuck want a Urus? A I-18, okay, BMW, I-8 BMW, a Lamborghini, a Type R, a Rari, okay. Now imagine your favorite car. You know it's a good car. You know you paid a lot of money, a Shelby, Kobe, yeah, shout out to Shelby, CTV, a Fiat, a Lamborghini, a Porsche. Okay, I see, I got a Jaguar, okay, a Pinto. <laughs> Now imagine your favorite car, right? You know it's a good car. It's a lot of money. You know it's high value. You know when that thing is oiled up just right. You know when that thing is maintained just right. Ain't no other car messing with it, right? But for two years straight. <laughs> two years straight. Your car having fucking... Uh, Brake issues and having fucking uh, alternator problems. Not one year, but for two years straight. Now, now, mind you, we're not talking about J.C. Horn. We're just talking about the car. What would you do? I'm asking you in the chat. What would you do if you had a high-powered, expensive-ass, prestige car? Brand new, by the way. Brand new, young. Ain't no old car. Brand new off the lot. What would you do two years straight that motherfucker had the same problem? What would you do? What would you do? We finna trade that car in for a new model. Trade that motherfucker. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. That's all I got to say. <laughs> okay. 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 Trade it in. Trade it back. That's right. So, hey, I ain't got nothing else to say. Y'all made my point. So, I'm not saying trade that nigga. You know what I mean? I ain't saying that. But as the analogy I just made. You got an expensive ass car, number number one pick, number eight overall pick. Nigga can't stay healthy two years in a row. You gonna let him burn you? Hey, nigga fuck me over one time, shame on him. Nigga fuck me over twice, shame on you. So be, I'll be damned if I let you do it a third time. You know what I mean? Prayers up to the young man, but his business is business. I'm not trying to have nothing get in my quarterback's way. Nothing. I'm not leaving my quarterback success up to a nigga who can't stay healthy. I'll trade your ass and go get an old ass cornerback in here who's a veteran. It is who it is what it is. I want to win. I love the Panthers. It's not about one player. I want to see the Panthers win. When we win the Super Bowl, I ain't going to be thinking about who got traded, who got cut. I want to see them niggas win. At all costs. You can't stay healthy. But, but your, your backup giving up three touchdowns a game and Bryce got to come. I can't do it. I can't do it. It is what it is, brother. Y'all going to hate me for this. That's why I'm probably one of the most hated niggas out here. But it is what it is. Shout out to Forest City, Kitty. I'm praying for JC. We need him. Yes, we do need him. And I'm praying for him too. But at the end of the fucking day, bro, you know, the show must go on. Some of my favorite players have been traded and released and all kind of stuff. Some of your favorite players have been traded and released. But half of the battle is getting your ass on the field. I don't care how talented you are. You ain't talented. You, you don't have no talent when you're not in the game. You can be the best cornerback in your head. You can be the best cornerback on Madden. But you can't be shit if you're not in the game. And I'm not going to leave it up to chance. You burn me once, shame on you. You burn me twice, shame on me. I'm not letting it happen the third time. Scott Federer, get on that fucking phone. Hey, man, y'all want a cornerback? Shit. Who need a cornerback? Push come to shove. If I, hey, if, I'm, if, if at some point your ass is going to get hurt again anyway, I might as well trade you get a first round pick out the deal and draft the motherfucker in the first round. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, if I ain't going to have you here, I ain't, I'm not dealing. I'm not dealing with that shit again. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not messing up a beautiful thing we got here. Bryce is ready to step in and take over the leadership. Last thing I want to see is this nigga can't stay healthy. Now, all of a sudden, you know, we giving up three touchdowns a game because your ass can't keep your ankles healthy. Think about your ankles. You can't you can't work out your ankles, nigga. You know, you weaken the chest, you weaken your arms. You can do push-ups. You can lift weights. You can't do shit with your ankles. I mean, 
It ain't like you could put drink more milk and make your ankle strong. I mean, it don't work that way. You know what I mean? There's a few other tender ankle motherfuckers on this team, too. I ain't gonna mention their name. Tender ankle, tender legged motherfuckers out here. Tweaking ankles, tweaking legs. I ain't gonna mention their name, though. Long story short, before I move on to the next topic, prayers up to J.C. Horn. Uh, but this is something I'm definitely concerned about. It could be the undoing of something special this year for Bryce. And if it happens again, if he gets hurt again, I want to see what's on the. I want to see what's on the market. It's not the personal, brother. I ain't know you. I ain't got shit personal against you, brother. But I want to see them niggas win. We can win with you. We can win without you. But one way or another, you gotta. You know, if you can't produce, we gotta get you the fuck out of here. It's not the personal, okay? And that goes for everybody on the team. Uh, you know, want to win? You know what I mean? Shit. I don't care how talented you are. All right. All right, all right. Let's move on to the next topic here. All right, Bryce Young officially anointed the Carolina Panthers starting quarterback QB one. All right, let's give him a clap. Let's slow down the show. Give him a clap. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. All right, put the nines up in the chat. Get those nines flooded in that chat. Let's get those nines up in the chat. Our quarterback, our king, Bryce Young, has been anointed number one quarterback. Uh, let's read what they had to say, and i give you my feedback here. Uh, man, here we go. Bryce Young said he had to take first team reps. Here's where we go. Coach Frank Wright said this about Bryce. And I quote, it's just the next step. We had a couple weeks to watch Andy Dalton. Andy has continued to perform at a very high level. We're we're just trying to get our team ready. Everything is about what's best for our team. And so this was just the next step. (laughs) Uh, DJ Chark had this to say about Bryce Young. Everybody is here for him. And we believe in him. And we believe that he can take us to really high places. Close quote. Um, Bryce Young said this about being elevated and I quote, for me, it's about earning it. I'm grateful to have the opportunity that I have. I still think it's a process. I'm grateful to be accepted by the team. It's an amazing locker room, uh, a great group of guys. I want to continue with that. It's not something you just entitled to close quote. All right. Uh, Frank Wright, uh, had this to say as well. He says, and I quote, we couldn't have shifted it. We could have shifted it. We could have moved up. He said on the timeline, I really didn't think I wanted to move it up because I thought things were going the way we wanted to, okay? At the end of last week, I pulled Bryce aside and Andy Dalton aside and just said, hey, we talked about this from the beginning. You guys are doing exactly like we wanted. We're going to go ahead and make the switch moving forward, close quote. All right. Uh, Frank Rice said it. Uh, Excuse me, Wright said it isn't ready to make that official until after he's seen Bryce Young in past during training camp. And I quote, he's showing us everything you want us to see, but this is going back to even the draft decision. We don't have to make a decision until you have to make it, okay? So we'll just keep him, keep giving him and our team the best opportunity to get ready to earn a starting role. So far, he had a lot of guys taking the step that need to be taken to earn this spot. Close quote, okay? All right. Oh. So it looks like everybody in the room is feeling Bryce. Shout out to, uh, who's that? Stephen V. Stephen V says, it's only four weeks into the offseason. We have June, July, and August to see what Bryce Young has learned to be an NFL quarterback. What is the rush? What is the rush? Great question, Stephen V. That's probably the question of the night, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what is the rush? Well, Stephen V, he's your number one overall quarterback. Number one overall pick in the NFL draft. He's on a team that needs it, man. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he, you're on a team that needs a quarterback. I mean, listen, bottom line, to me, this is just is more formal formality. This is a formality, y'all. If you thought for one second that Andy Dalton was really the number one quarterback, you, you, 
you're on that rock. You're on that ready rock, okay? Bryce has always been the number one quarterback, you know what I mean? At this point in time, David Tepper got in that ass. That's why it's moving up so fast, okay? They want to go ahead, go ahead and get it out there. I like the move. I like this move. It should have been, listen, from day one, it should have been announced that he's the number one quarterback. All this shit about him earning it and the teammates love you and I had to prove it. I'm not entitled to nothing. Save that shit for your mama. <laughs> Nigga, when they took you number one overall and your ass was five foot ten, your ass was a starter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't no earning shit. I don't give a fuck if nobody in the locker room liked him. Your ass is my starter. I don't care. All that shit is for when I when I read when I read shit like this, I, 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 I I had to earn it and I had to prove it. And, ah, shut the fuck. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. I don't believe that shit. Your ass was number one from the go, okay? And it's the right move. It's absolutely the right move, okay? Anybody got a problem with this, you, sh you shouldn't have a problem with this. I, I don't understand why anybody would have a problem with this. At the end of the day, we don't have time to waste. We don't have time to waste. No. I don't see. Shout out to Frank Wright for doing what Matt Rule should have done. Last year, Frankie, I mean last year, Matty Boy, Matt 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 Rule, during the precious moments of training camp and OTAs, he tried to have a open competition. Now, mind you, last year between Baker and Sam, this competition lasted all the way into the preseason. So all the way into the preseason, we never had a true number one quarterback take X amount of reps out of you. Hey, I don't got time for that shit this year. It didn't work out. Stop playing with me, Smokey. Put his ass in there. I Let him go ahead. And, and like I said, if he's going to throw interceptions, let's go ahead and get it out the way now. Repetition is a young guy's best friend. I don't need to see where Andy Dalton is. I don't. I don't need to see where Andy Dalton is. I don't need to see that. Get him in there. Get as many reps as you can. Get him as many looks as you can. Let him throw as many interceptions as he can. Let him throw in, get his ball back. Get all that shit out your system. Because come week one, I better not see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let him, yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. This is that you damn right you better start him. Get him out. Yeah. Empty his balls. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Get him in there right now. I want you to get as many reps as possible. Get all that weakness out of you. Get your balls batted down. Throw your interceptions. Take a sack. Get all that out of you. It is merely a waste of time to have Andy Dalton sitting on the damn team taking up valuable reps when you got a guy who's clearly going to be your number one quarterback at some point in time, why, why, why play with it? Let me tell you something, man. It's like when I used to be in the streets, bro. I used to be in the street. When I used to go to a whole house, bro, I didn't go over there to sit and talk. I didn't, I didn't play with it. I knew what I was there for. When I was in the street. used to go to the whole house, bro. I didn't want to sit down. I didn't give a fuck about your day. I don't care about your kids. Whatever you go. I came there to get that work. My time was valuable. I got to get back home before the baby mama catch me. That's why. I didn't come, I didn't, that's the same principle of Bryce. We ain't got time to play quarterback competition. We can't afford that shit. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I go to the whole house. Zip. <laughs> I didn't even say hello. Just zip. Come through the door. Zip. Meet it out and shit. Scrape meet it out. I ain't come to play with you, girl. Suck that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Man, who's interrupting me? <sighs> Stay right there, Carla. I'll be with you one second, okay? But anyway, man. So, yeah, man. Uh, what I'll say. Yeah, so Bryce is doing what he's supposed to do. You know what I mean? He he, And the Panthers doing what they're supposed to do. Thank you for not playing with these niggas, bro. Let him get rep it out, bro. Yeah. As far as him being a leader and all that shit, well, he's my quarterback. I, you surprised? I ain't surprised he's no leader. I ain't surprised niggas love him. Y'all surprised? I've been, I been on I've been on the goddamn Bryce Crane. 
Don't waste my time. And I'm finally glad that Frank or I don't know whoever got the message to him. Like, hey, bro, we ain't got time to waste. Let's get this nigga up to speed. Don't play with it, all right? But uh, all in all, man, before I open up the phone lines here, man, uh, I'm proud of him. It's already June 9th. Got July, August. Then the season's back, man. The season's back after that. You know what I mean? Keep him healthy. Keep him upright. Let him learn as much as he can. No excuses. No, listen, we got we, we got enough on that old line. That old line, we got enough. I know a lot of you guys are worried about Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook is Cook. You know what I mean? Dalvin Cook can't stay healthy. You know what I mean? I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know about that Dalvin Cook situation, but it will help out our weak ass running back room. You know what I mean? Miles Sanders, you know what I mean? Just Miles Sanders, you know? But, uh, yeah, I'm proud of Bryce. No excuses, bro. No excuses. Let's go to the phone line. <laughs> yeah, who's this? Hey, man, it's me, Paul from Raleigh again. I appreciate you having me, man. I, I got a question, man. I'm, not, I'm so happy to see what Bryce is doing right now. Me too, you know, me too, brother. Thing. I, I got one question, though, about JC. You know, um, yeah. yeah, man, he's injury prone. No offense. So is Dante Jackson, sort of. We we, we still got $27 million, uh, yeah. in salary cap, second most in the league. So we can pretty much sign everybody. I heard rumors about Daniel uh uh, for, for you know, from the, the Vikings turning trade offers, that's besides the point. Do you see any valuable cornerback out there that you think we should sign? For that's a great question. Like, I haven't really looked, but stay right there. Since we got you on the line, let me take a peek at it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so let me ask you this just from real nigga to another nigga. So, you think I'm out of line for you know, possibly you know, flirting with trading this nigga? Hey, look, it is what it is, man. Look. We appreciate what he's done, but look, it's a business, all right? Mm -hmm. No offense. Straight up. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna perform for perform for us, great. We can win with we can win without without you with you or without you. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. Like you like you said, like you said, you said it best. So look, if you ain't gonna do it for us, I know Frank Christ said it today, they're like, Oh yeah, he's gonna be ready ready for training camp. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's protocol right there. That's bullshit. Mm -hmm. All right. It's the ankle. <laughs> You know what so, so what happened? Did the, did the nigga twist it or did, I mean, what happened? I, I have no idea. I just heard about it, man. I just got home from work. I heard about it. I, you know, I was looking at all the Panthers interviews. I saw DJ Charts interview, which is great. I loved everything DJ Charts said. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I saw uh, Icky's uh, interview, which was great. You know what I'm saying? That Shout out to the big Ick. Yep. yep. And so, oh, my bad. But I'm, I'm saying, going back to JC Horn, mm -hmm. we have money. We gotta spend it wisely because we gotta save some of that money because you know Brian Burns is gonna be looking for that extension, but we got money in the meantime. Brian Burns, you know, we'll see about that next season. But I'm saying, so right there, I'm looking it up. I'm, look, I'm looking it up now. And see what we got. Yeah, 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 no doubt, no doubt. Go ahead. What about Jesse Horn? I'm. I'm sorry. What about Jesse Horn? I'm saying J.C. Horn, like you know, he's been great and all, but again, I, I hate to say it, man, he's just injury prone, maybe because you know he. The guy playing the SEC, it took a toll on his body. I don't know if he's going to – this isn't his hand like it was last year. Mm -hmm. This is his ankle, you know. First it was, you know, it was the ankle back a couple, couple of years ago or the a lower leg and then the, the hand and now it's the ankle again. We don't need OTAs, man. Yeah, we got OTAs. <laughs> we, they, we ain't made it to motherfucking um, – <laughs> we ain't made it to the beach yet, bro. We ain't went to the beach yet. <laughs> ah, damn, bro. <laughs> This ain't even training camp. Mm -hmm. Not even the first game. Fuck all that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, man. Um, I don't know if there's any great corners out there. I'm not sure what happened. I think Patrick Peterson. I don't know uh, where he ended up. I'm not. I mean, yeah, I think Patrick Peterson. I think he went to Minnesota. Stay right there. Let me. I got it up. Give me one second here. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Let, no me, doubt. let me let the nigga in. Stay right there. <clears throat> All right, let's see who's fucking available here. Look like Byron Jones. Byron Jones still available. Um, Marcus Peters. William, hold on, is this right? William Jackson. Bradley Roby. 
you know, I, I'm at a point right now where I think we should probably assign two corners. I mean, <laughs> you know, I, I got love for Dante and all, but, you know, he's also injury prone. Ronald Darby. Hold on, man. So I'm thinking maybe it might be better just for trade for the, you know, the outside linebacker from Minnesota because we haven't called him, apparently. Right, more pressure and, you know, Yvonne Bell and Jeremy Chin, they can do all the work in the back. Dante Jackson, hopefully he stays healthy. What do you think about that Rashad yeah, breathing? What do you think about the Rashad breathing shit? I've been hearing he's been begging to come back. Rashad breathing, he was with us and then he was with who? Um, mm-hmm. Washington, Washington, I believe. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, you know I, I don't know if it was character issues or injuries. I'm not sure. No, he had, uh, he had an injury. He, he didn't pass the physical. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. He was about to sign yeah. with us, but he couldn't pass. He had a, a laceration or something on his foot or some shit. Yeah, so no, unfortunately, no. you know, be, mm-hmm. being this late. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I'm saying being this late in the, uh, the offseason. They got Jason right? Verrett out there. Shit, Logan Ryan. Kyle Fuller. And the unfortunate thing is we don't really have the, the we got Casey, Casey Hayward. Right. I'm saying we don't have the capital to make a trade. Unfortunately, we give all that up. Let me ask you this. If he wants to miss significant time, do you trust C.J. Henderson? Um, Did you see C.J. Henderson? I mean, it's unrelated. Mm -hmm. But C.J. Henderson, apparently, uh, it was a traffic stop. I saw the video, by the way. Yeah. And I'm just thinking, like, okay, you know, you know, real guys get in trouble. It is what it is. But he looked malnourished. I'm like, damn, yo, bro, you even been lifting? <laughs> like, I mean, hold on, on, hold man. on. What this video is now? <laughs> CJ Henderson. He said he looked malnourished. <laughs> 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 uh, they, they, they see his his car smell like weed and shit. This is all good. But... Golly, is the nigga just smoking his fucking life away? <laughs> Just sitting there getting high and shit and ignoring me. Let's sit right there. Let me see. Yeah, the, funny thing, the funny thing is I was watching this random videos and then all of a sudden the officer said his real name, mm-hmm. DJ something Henderson. I'm like, what? No mm-hmm. fucking way. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm an NFL player. I'm like, no way. Is that our CJ Henderson? Wow. So, yeah, uh, again, that was my question, man. Uh, man, I don't, and, know, I don't know if none of these motherfuckers out here worth getting, though, bro. I'm looking. I don't really see nobody on the market. Exactly. That, that, Maybe Byron Jones shit, man. I'm looking now. It's a raising concern, but who knows? Maybe we can find somebody. Uh, you trust anybody in, with, uh, with, behind them, bro? You trust any of our cornerback behind them? That's, that's CJ Henderson, them boy. Sometimes the answer is on our roster. So we'll <laughs> see what the. Evero, Evero, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, Evero. Let's Evero. We'll see if he can, like, you know, work his magic or something, you know. Magic, nigga. Yeah. What are you, Tala? <laughs> I said, work his magic. Uh, what's up, guys? Hey, who's this? Oh, uh, Alex. Alex, what's up, brother? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I was checking in and I, and I seen the JC Horn topic. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, man, that fool. That, that guy's a glass cannon. You know, uh, I was pretty high on him when he came out. And, you know, talent-wise, I think he's a top three man corner in the league. But, like, like, like I said, you know, this guy, he kind of reminds me of an AD, you know. Like, his, the availability is kind of a, is kind of what holds him down. And I'm like, I'm like kind of thinking, I'm like, man, we should have should have drafted you know, Patrick Sertan over this guy. Mm-hmm. You, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think Sertan was available, bro. Yeah, I want, I I want a Sertan. Early. Believe it or not, I want a Sertan. Go yeah. Back, I, he, he wasn't available. Yeah, think. go back and look at the tape. Go back and look at the tape. I was pounding the table for Sertan, bro. Yeah, Sertan was was really good, but, you know, I, I don't know, man. Again, like, you know, JC's, like, a top three corner, you yeah, know. Yeah, listen, healthy. I told you that number shit don't mean nothing when you can't stay healthy. <laughs> yeah. Listen, we know what he can do when he's healthy, bro. That's, that's not that's yeah. not without a doubt. My problem is is that number don't bro, I'm not letting you burn me three years in a row, bro. Would you let a yeah, nigga yeah. would you let a nigga cheat you three years in a row? Nope. But you talking about oh when he's healthy yeah, though, the nigga can, yeah, I don't give a fuck. But stay healthy. Yeah, that's 
And that's that, you know, that's the thing that holds it back at the end of the day. And uh, I mean, it, it's one thing to lose one corner, but last year we lost, you know, Dante and JC. And what he's, back. Man, he, he, he's back now. Dante's back. But yeah, he's it's... not back. The dude tore his Achilles. He fucked. Yeah, peace, peace. The Panthers are fucked. They got yeah, they, yeah, yeah. you. Time, you, time. you you fucked as a team. Thomas, I don't know. You got a curse on your black ass. I don't know what it uh, is. Thomas Davis went to three ACLs and came back a Pro Bowl. What's the up? ACL, hey brother, look here, look here, brother. You you got to you got to you got to be careful. You got to educate yourself. The ACL mm -hmm. is not a real. They replace it with uh uh. My uh, homeboy uh, had that shit. That shit's real. Hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick, real, real, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, brother. The ACL, you can repair it with. A car, you, you compare it with tendon from your leg, they, they repair it. It's even better because when you repair it with the technology they have now, your, your, your mm -hmm. ACL is not a real ACL no more. They take it from your tendon from your thighs or your leg. You cannot repair the fucking uh, Achilles. That shit, you never recover from that shit. Kobe we Bryant, got, when, we, Kobe, we, when Kobe fucked his Achilles up, he could, mm -hmm. you could not jump no more. You cannot run as fast as you can when you repair, when you fuck your Achilles up, your career is fucking over. Well, you know what? I'm excuse me for being biased. I'm going to think more optimistic. We no, got brother. Hey, 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 this, we got the this best ain't Disney in World, brother. This ain't Disney World. Yeah, you're right. It's the Panthers. Because they Disney World, insurance. all that hoping and wishing shit, brother. It is not they Dante Jackson was all right. But when you when you tear your Achilles tendon, brother, your shit just go down. You're not the same as a as an athlete. That's the worst. Whoa, whoa, that's whoa, not whoa, why whoa. they say Achilles tendon. That's the worst injury you could have. Well, you seem to be moving straight out there from what I've heard. Nah, hey, he not as fast as he used to be, brother. He not as fast as he used to be. Yeah, yeah. The pants of the fuck, you cursed. Let me ask you this, brother Leo. Why do you say they cursed? What, what makes you think they cursed? The fucking <laughs> McCaffrey. You get Dante. You get all this crazy shit. I mean, not Dante. Um, JC. This, this, this shit ain't working out. I don't know what the fuck it is, but you know, <laughs> I know since we got this new owner, I mean, shit ain't working out. Thank you try and try and try. Keep it a buck, bro. Keep, keep, keep it a buck here. Yeah, I don't want you to be a fan. Just be, be, be a man, not a fan. Is, is Patrick Sertain better than J.C. Horn? Patrick Sertain. Not better. as a player, no, sir. Big Cat. Straight up player for player, no. But the best availability, you know, is, yeah. where the best player is availability, but I was saying go. J.C. is the Mr. Glass, you know. Man, I would love, I would love for the way Everett would have been to, like, you know, go from Sertain to coaching Horn. I'm not really horned up. I'm just saying, like, you know, you went from one great rookie quarterback at his at the time to another. Um, I'm hoping this is nothing. I'm just hoping this is like a it, small brother, spread. I'm, I'm not sure what it is with J.C. Horn. It's probably the same foot that he broke. Yeah, that's what they said. Before that's, last, that's, you never that's, know. That's what they said. Is it, well, time, is well, it time to well, trade him, bro? You know, bro? that shit don't get better. Is it time to trade him? Is it time to trade him, bro? Ain't nobody gonna give him nothing for big cat. Ain't nobody gonna give you nothing for a hurt motherfucking car for car. A car that ain't got no motherfucking broke transmission. One big cat, once the transmission going in the car, that shit is junk. <laughs> <laughs> big cat, you know that right. One, one, know one, that. Once somebody hits you in the back, they tell you to fucking junk that fucking car because the transmission gonna go on your ass. Mm -hmm. Well, you better put 10 plates in that motherfucker, right? You nah, you can't that. fix it, man. Listen, just hope he heal up, put his ass out there, but you better draft a motherfucker next year. What 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 happened to that nigga? But did he roll it or something? Because that they didn't say exactly what happened. Yeah, Probably just sure. training and shit just happened. That shit mm -hmm. you got you got screw you got screws in your in your mm -hmm. in your foot, man. Right. You know. Let me I tell never you. heal right, man. <laughs> Let me tell you something, y'all. I, I had the same bad. injury, Leo. I had that same fucking injury, bro. It just, yeah, that shit don't never heal. Okay, that shit don't never heal, right? Nope. That shit don't ever heal, right? Mm mm. When you get metal in your bones, gee, oh. this shit don't never heal right. To this day, bro. Uh, Steve, I, uh, Steve, Steve Smith, Steve Smith had metal, metal has metal in his bones also. Just, just let, just send that out there. Ooh. And he was he got it. In, he got, he got it in his what? His, in his leg. He got it in, in his thigh. I mean, it's just, it's, uh, it was, uh, it was also uh, the ankle area actually. Ooh. Steve got metal in his ankle. I know he had surgery on his, on his. On... They're right there. They're right there. Shout out to Kennard. He says, if born. If J.C. Horn misses four or more games, trade his trade his ass. Shout out to D.Z. He said, 
Bryce Young will be a week one starter. Let's go, baby. Easy money from Unk. <laughs> Shout out to Unk, passing the money out. <laughs> he passed the money. He bet on somebody that he won't be a starter week one. Nah, they he should have did that because I mean he they drafted the dude. So. Yeah. Shout out to Choppy. He said it's not the same foot. I thought it. I thought it was saying it was the same foot. I don't know. It don't fucking matter. Right. Same foot, the other foot. The dude injury prone. It just is what it is. Mm-hmm. Think about that, Leo. Like I was should... telling him earlier, you, you really you can't work out the your bones. I mean, you can work out your muscles. I guess you can strengthen yes. the muscles around it. I guess. You can't. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you, you can't. It's just, it's just freak shit. It just happens. Yeah. The team fucking cursed. Yeah. Hey, shout out to Rockhead. Oh, oh, right there. Sorry, the shout out to Rockhead. He says, I had. Th- That's porn is working out too much. No, you can't work out too much as a professional athlete. You can't. You can't put no kick gloves on no grown. You, they professional. You can't. They horses in the stable. <laughs> they you what? can't train them not hard. You got to put them up for the night there. <laughs> That's why I tell you, I hate to come at you like like property, but I mean, you know. Big cat, these, these niggas ain't getting paid, motherfucker. Millions of dollars because the motherfucker love them. Mm-hmm. Big cat, soon as he can get out, we go uh, out. Corner. We know he's a shutdown corner. So if he is a little injury prone, she's not like paperback. Big no. cat, do you know any? Do you know any players or anybody in this chat that has come back? Has been a hundred, let's say ninety percent good. Yeah. After an ankle, after after an ankle injury. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they're. I'm sure. I mean, come on. What player has it is countless though, brother. But mm-hmm. the thing is, it's one thing after another with right, this dude. Right. And shit, freak shit. He broke his Damn. wrist. That was a freak play. Right. You know, it wasn't his fault. Brother, it doesn't matter if it's far or not. It's a freak shit. You just can't prevent shit from happening. The team is fucking cursed. You hear me? I'm gonna look, look, look. I'm 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 gonna ignore completely. I'm gonna ignore the whole wrist injury. You see, he he's one of the best players on the field. You see it. Mm-hmm. Does it matter? I mean, he bro, he's not healthy again. <laughs> well, I mean. Look, man. Let's just see what happens in the next few weeks. I'm, I'm, I'm I, I am not sold out on this guy. I, I believe, you know, he, he. I mean, come on now. I, I know his his dad got me talking to him right now. The great toy. Well, let me ask. What, what, what his dad gonna do? His dad got superpowers to heal that foot. <laughs> yeah, he's super, man. <laughs> <laughs> He'll break out that flip phone. I got that flip phone when he returns. Home. Oh, he, he gonna play, he gonna break out that flip phone. Now. Go on, go I mean, on, the dude's on. a good player, but he can't stay on the field. I mean, it's what it is. Jack, the Jackson get hurt every ten minutes. I mean, look, it's, man, look, look, we got the salary cap, but unfortunately, there ain't no good corners out there right now. Exactly. I say, the, I say right now, the answer has to be on our roster. Where? Got, where is oh, it at? Where is it on the roster? Tell me, answer, tell, me, tell me, tell me, where is the cornerback answer on this roster? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, tell me. Nowhere. If we got if we got to start yeah, the we, season with, with Keith Taylor or CJ Henderson, oh no, CJ Henderson's fucked. Yeah, it's gonna be a long ride. The team is Yo. fucked. What you mean? It ain't him. He on the team. The team fucked. Yo, Henderson got his own legal issues, man. I don't know what the fuck. Oh, right, right. I mean, if if Henderson's gonna bust out, this is his only shot because of uh, Ejero. But uh, what we saw last year, that was bullshit. Henderson don't take. Anderson don't take the game seriously. I know he See, don't. Exactly, That's a reason why exactly. Jackson don't take his There you go, brother. CJ don't care. He getting a check. He don't care. I saw the video of him getting pulled over. Whatever, man. Brother's got to do what he's got to do. But I saw this dude, like, you know, he ain't been lifting. He ain't been doing shit. No, and last, last preseason, everybody was talking a lot about him, you know, about to come out. Even Steve Smith talked about it. But then he let down Steve Smith, and he called, he called him out on cut to it. Like a week ago, well, first round. What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? He just said that he'd heard a lot of. Uh, he saw a lot of good things out of him in uh, preseason. Then, I know he just he never showed up. It ain't I mean, in him. And then we just, just saw the tape. He ain't got the talent. It ain't he, in him. He was getting torched. I mean, I'll dress Is up he, as a bodyguard he, at Uptown Cabaret. I mean, they closed that yeah. shit, didn't they? That's close. I don't know. I heard, heard the closing building like a high, high ass building. 
some uh, shit. Should we be looking uh, for a trade partner, man, to to, to find another trade corner? Partner. Yeah, to try to. Man, you gonna get a fifth round pick for this motherfucker? No, man. no, no, no. We big cap, big cap. For a trade, help. we ain't got no compensation. We ain't got no picks. Yeah. Yeah. Are you talking about CJ? Man, I mean, no, 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 I'm talking about just, just, just nah, find I mean somebody. Corner. We just need to find some help. Not trade, not trade JC Horn, but like find somebody to come in to be the depth, like a depth piece. No, no. Definitely can't find no trade. I mean, rules screwed up there. letting uh, Gilmore go. I mean, we gave up equity for Gilmore. Mm-hmm. That, that was, was two years cat. ago. Hold that one recent. That was two years uh, ago. Yeah, but I mean, if we gave up so much for him, we could have. I mean, uh, they gave you think they would have kept him at least one year. Nah, they, you know, they, you know, they you know, took him because they didn't want the Buccaneers to get. Um, Dude, I forgot y'all said his name. They, they didn't want Tampa Bay to get him, so they just picked him up. You know, be a good idea is to find a team <laughs> that is over cap that can't afford a certain player, and offer them whatever we can and trade for for that for that for that for that you know player. Nah, just chasing. ride it out, bro. Just be ready to lose. You got your rookie quarterback. Stay under the salary cap. You know you got Man, a rookie you quarterback. Man, you're the Panthers fan. What's up? Yeah, call us ass out. Call, call us out. He asked you, are you a Panther fan? I was wondering, man. No, 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 I'm, a real, I'm a realist. Oh, fuck you, I'm a realist. You talking <laughs> fantasy. Ain't about shit. to lose, bro. You talking fantasy world. You talking about trading away shit you ain't got. Are you, you a Panthers fan? <laughs> are you a Panthers fan? I'm a Panthers fan. I want the team to win, but we ain't going to win. Don't sound right like now. you should. No, no. You don't have the capacity to understand when I'm being real. I, I top be players is hurt. <laughs> oh, we in OTAs. Oh, we ain't winning the third positive, season bro. shit. You be talk, top to miss my guy. And wishing. <laughs> ain't nobody I did it get. Leonard Floyd went to the fucking Bills. That would have helped out. He didn't want to come to the Panthers. Get you a Panthers pillow for Christmas. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> stick with, stick with, stick with As a matter of fact, you know what? As a matter of fact, I got one. I got a little black one. But, um. Uh, I lay my okay. head on it every night, you know, mm-hmm. but it is what it is. Uh, but um, dude, this year's this year's all positivity, bro. No, 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 bro. bro, 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 bro. Yeah. Yeah. I, I use positivity. Dude, we almost had the division last year. year. We I didn't get the to lose. Yet, but I got high hopes, like everybody else. I ain't hit it yet, so mm-hmm. I gotta be real. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I mean, what's what's stopping us from taking the division? Well, right there. Let's turn. Let's turn. see Horn. Uh, 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 Look at the uh, rest uh, of them. Cornerbacks. You know, you you know, you know, you know, the Falcons got an all pro corner, but they they got they got a pro bowl cornerback out there. Yeah. They got one. I ain't talking about the one they, they traded for. Yeah, AJ Terrell. Terrell. So they got one. They got another one potential. Uh, they got a pro bowl safety now. Uh, yeah, that receiver London. They got London. London. They got and they got Pitts. Pitts back. We'll see how that roll. But mm-hmm. you know, fuck Kyle Pitts. I, I think I think I really th- our only threat really is probably New Orleans. Because I don't think the Bucks are gonna be all that great. No, no, nah, nah, the the Bucks is just as bad as we are. The Bucks are just as bad. I think the Bro, we ain't that bad. I, I think uh, Bucks are You got suck. a bunch of motherfucking old ass free agents on the offensive side of the ball. We have coaches. It's just, it's just female. That's it. It's gonna make. Dude, dude, I think Terrace Marshall has a breakout year too. That's my that's my prediction. Facts, facts, facts. All the injury prone motherfucker on the team. You count injury prone. <laughs> But he's not injured. He, he, Dude, you're putting he, bad juju out into the ether. Nah, nah. It's, so, so, <laughs> That's so a problem with our fan base. He's the more talented Musi Muhammad. Come on. I ain't seen it, though. That we I got in the second round. Was he not? We got I him ain't seen him on the field, field brothers. Like I got seen him on the field. Darius? Hey, look, yeah, we look, got the second look, round. Look. Look, my brother. Look, look, look. we, 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 uh, we. Fortunately, are in a weak division, so I do. The whole. I don't know that R is going to do any better in uh, New Orleans than anybody else has. I think Carr will do a little better. I mean, Raiders fans. Let me, let me ask you guys a question here. Was it too soon to go ahead and anoint Bryce Young as the number one quarterback? No, a number one pick for. I, I think. I think number it sounds good. Back day one. No, nah, I went too soon, big cat. I didn't even know they did anoint him. I just knew he was taking first team reps. Yeah, they're anointing they him. They got big cat. They got to put him out there. Everybody else, CJ starting and Anthony Richardson starting, and right. and my man might start because they might cut Tannehill before the. Hey, look, game. all eyes right now are on Bryce. It, they have to. Put it him does one. sound like Young's starting. It'd be silly not to start the they game, especially over the yeah, Red yeah, Rifle. What it is? 
and, and even Andy Dalton's out there trying to support him as a backup. So mm-hmm. be stupid. You can support him up as all you want. Either he gonna start or he not. We don't need no captain. We don't need no extra support. Shit, this ain't motherfucking therapy. I Put think it's out. a process, like uh, you know, make feel good or formality. Put the fuck out there and let him play. I told you, CJ starting, Anthony Richardson starting, and the guy they got from Kentucky, he starts. Put his ass out there. That nigga crazy, Eddie. No kick gloves. <laughs> don't, don't, be trying to, don't be trying to graze him in there without mm-hmm. motherfuckers looking. He going to play one, one way or another. Yeah, Leo. You right? right? I'm with you, man. Just take it to my Hey, look, I, I look, big cat. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Look, I gotta head out. Hey, you my man. Like you know, next time you come to a Panthers game, bring your pillow. Well, that's a bet. I sure will. <laughs> <I'll> bring, <your laughs> <pillow. laughs> bring me one too. Yeah. Shit. Don't be a long. Don't be a long. Bring night. my pillow. Okay. I can't fucking breathe, man. Oh, yeah. Much love, big cat. Thank big you. Big love, big brother. Big cat <laughs> team and just, I don't know, big cat. Yeah. We gonna see, man. Hey man, all we can I do is hope for the best, man. The fuck happens. I'm so fired up. I mean, it can't be worse than what we started with last year. Yeah. Think about that bullshit. Hey, 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 hey. A lot of hey, a lot hey, of hey, time hey. to be happy as a Panther fan. I'm talking about Baker, Baker, touchdown, Baker. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. My we got god, a, we, got a, we got a rookie quarterback. Awesome. Somebody can't be no worse. All right, all right. Well, no, it can't. It can be worse. You know, everybody's around the campfire. So, I mean, yeah, singing his praises. These, yeah, that's uh, what I'm saying. You setting motherfuckers up for, for, for hey, if it don't, if it shit don't go right, I don't want to hear. You know, you gotta just be cool. Like, mm-hmm. like, like my man, like man, Genie said, stop fucking trying to talk me. It stop trying to sell it. Like, it, let it play out. Because you know, hundred percent. But I think that I don't think that dude hasn't had pressure since his freshman year in college. It's you the know, pros, bro. But like Alabama, think about the pressure he had every it's single game pros. expected to win. I don't know. I mean, SEC, Bama, the pros, every single bro. game. Pros. I mean, it's not Bryce what we've heard on like YouTube and everything. He's correcting the coaches. Yeah. Oh, really? yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he, he had to fix plays a few times. Yeah, put him two, in the fucking OC now. box and shit since he's so fucking bright. <laughs> bright young, bright young. Okay, we gonna see on the field on the tenth. The only thing is, I do, I am a little bit worried about his uh, his uh, thickness. You know what I mean? What do you mean? I mean, you can't do shit about uh, that, man. Just let him roll with it. The, the work height work doesn't work. bother me, but I'm. I'm I, I, worried I am that. worried if he gets a dog on him, it's gonna take that hit. Yeah, Don't TJ worry Watt. About it. It's too late to worry about that. Don't need a Cam Newton career that. ender. Need a quarterback I'm now. Worried, I'm worried about that dog going to just take that hit and take that flag and like, you know. Nah, don't worry about that. It's football. I told you, you can't, you can't put him in a bubble. Got to put him out there. You can't oh, worry sure. about that shit. No, no, we got to get him out there either way. He going to be out there. They don't spend all the fucking future on the motherfucker. So hey, put him out there. But I think he shines. I, I, I don't. I, I think he'll I, make his errors, but fucking throwing. You know, short passes. I want him <laughs> flinging it sideways. I want him throwing it deep. I want him knowing where the pass is going to be before the receiver gets there. I, that I believe he can do. Yeah. It's, it, I just want to see it. Yeah, you're going to see it. You're going to see it. Oh, it's going to be game one. Game one. You're going to see it in preseason. You're going to see it. You're going to see it on the 10th. Uh, right now, you're seeing it on the, I mean, in the footage, is he's just dropping balls like ahead of the receiver just in the basket. It's yeah, which nice. Give credit to the people that I've been watching. The they show the the practices and stuff like that. He looks like he's in command. Like he. Looks oh, like the ball's he's... right there. The ball's pretty. Leo, if I pay for your ticket week one, you gonna come, bro? Me? Nah, big cat. I can't come. What, what are you playing at Atlanta? I might. Yeah, come Georgia. To, um, that's on the tenth. That's gonna be on Sunday. Oh, that Mercedes Dome is the shit. Me, I'm gonna be there, bro. <laughs> Nah, I mean, I think about it, brother. But I, I like watching this shit on TV too. But I mean, I bro, think about man, it. You want to see Bryce you know, up front, bro? Nah, hell, you, nah. Because Monday night football. I don't want to see that little dude. I don't want to see him on TV, big cat. But I that, mean, if you, I mean, <laughs> oh, man, I don't know, big cat. I, I don't know. I don't want you to pay for it. I'm good, but I don't. Monday night football. Just, I'll tell you what. Just take your time. Think about it. 
Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you, bro. I just I'll saw, I'll I, you put that on my mind because you're a good guy, man. Mm. I'm going to think about that. I'm going I'm, I'm to think about that, bro, because that's, that's a real honest, um, you 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 genuine in your, in your intentions, brother, so I'm going to think about it. Bro, I ain't, I ain't with that stupid shit the mother niggas with, bro. Oh, no, 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 I ain't, no, I'm talking about just like far as, you know, being in the stadium and all that, just, mm. no, nah, no, nah, I ain't worried about that. Oh, okay. I'm just talking about like going to the, because I ain't, you know, say I told you about that anxiety shit, man, so, you know. I got some important. But. And niggas gonna be some Panthers fans there, and I love talking shit to you, <laughs> motherfuckers. I love talking shit to Atlanta motherfuckers. So fuck it. Win or lose, goddamn. <laughs> you say you love talking shit to Panthers fans? <laughs> no, 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 Atlanta fans. No, no, not Panthers. No, Falcons fans. Oh, oh okay. no, no, no. Okay. Nah, nah, nah. Falcons fans. Nah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. I ain't gonna talk shit to my team. I just want motherfuckers to come. Dude, I was really. talking shit to Panthers fans. No, I want, I want Panthers fans to be real and stop motherfucking hoping they wish fucking weak. star, man. We got, we got some dumb fans, though, dude. I was man, there at that Niners game. Fans. It is what it is. Can you imagine being oh. a Browns fan? No, I Bro, can't. but at least they get high. They got we, the I go to the stadium, I fly up to Boston. I mean, when Cam, oh. was, when Cam was on the team, motherfuckers was running around dabbing and yeah, doing shit, we, man. That was when Cam was on the team. <laughs> that was, but hey, you can't say we got some know. weak fans. In third down and two against the Niners, I'm sitting there watching the crowd. Everybody's like stagnant, and we're supposed to make a defensive stand. And you think it's going to get loud and try to fucking disrupt the Niners' offense? They didn't give a fuck. That was the last uh, McCaffrey in uh, rule game. I, I mean, like, because they knew it was inevitable, so bad. The game was, they had the better team. We don't use some fucking wasting your time. <laughs> but, I mean, part of a fan experience is to be. Shout out to Clarence Anderson. He said, Big Cat, why do you have three cups? One for the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got to take that L when it comes. Mm-hmm. You got to take your medicine. You got to lose and win. Well, well. You got rid of McCaffrey, you stay healthy for the 49ers and shit, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I guess we can all agree McCaffrey's probably the best back in the league. And uh, I hate that he's not a Panther, but I hope he does this meeting, comes back, and retires with us. Carla, where are you from? I am from Tonka. Um, you from where? Retire the Panther. I don't know. Tom Phil. Compton, Thomasville, Georgia, Thomasville, North Carolina. Oh, I did what it would have meant the sausage and shit, pat, sausage patties and all that. Mm-hmm. Barbecue, yeah, barbecue. Yeah, like yeah I know, I know what that said. Mm-hmm. I didn't, I know that's right. Oh, nice. Yeah, we, I'm we from barbecue, Utah. We barbecue. Utah, country, oh, wow, that's where you live at. Yes, sir. No, I'm in Austin. I've called in a couple times uh, with Big Cat. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, Austin. But, uh, okay, okay, I got you. Yeah, I'm, fr- I'm from Utah. The Mormon kid from Utah is what he knows me as. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I remember you. I remember you. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. I just sent you a Venmo, Big Cat. Oh, yeah, let me read that for you. Don't, don't, don't read it. Let me read it for you. There you go. You all right, man. Dang. There he is. No, no, yeah. That was the only reason I started liking the Panthers when they first came out. is because they were in the NFC West, and everybody in Utah is a Niners fan, so. Shout out to on Niners Dustin, fans for days. Man. He said, so had to a "Shout out wow, to the big a... kite." Shout out to Dustin, man. Appreciate that Venmo. That's what's up, man. Ben, buddy. Oh. Now, Dustin, I think I remember you from a while back. I think I asked you how was Mormon pussy. Was that was that me? When I asked you? <laughs> right, yeah, and you were clowning on me because I like black girls and. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I remember oh you. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I remember you, man. Maybe I stick to your goddamn race, man. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> You better leave them alone, man. You got nice, pretty, pretty wholesome Mormon women, mm-hmm. white women out there, man. You better stop that goddamn race, man. Mm-hmm. No, I'm married. I'm married to the whitest girl I ever dated. Well, there you so go. That's the weirdest part about it. Congratulations, goddamn. Congratulations. But I'm out here in Austin. Well, that's, what still... that's, what, that's what that's what that's what that's what a liberal white people like, man. You know, they're it's crazy. Nah, just out of cu- know, well, look, look. Out there, just out of curiosity, well, just out of curiosity here, why you didn't get a piece of chocolate that you were craving for? What was that? You said you used to date black like women. Right? Oh, sorry, I couldn't hear. My my bad, my ear. You said you used to like black women, date black women, right? Yeah, yeah. Then why you why you married white women? What happened? Oh, dude. Uh, well, in Utah, that's all there is is like white and Polynesian. Mm-hmm. So, like, anytime you find a black girl or a Latina, you know, it's game on. You're, if they're good looking, well, mm-hmm. made the best so, man. Let's win. go. 
<laughs> well, not I a, not everybody, but I was I was always fired up about getting to know. So, okay, okay. like, well, yeah, I like all women. What did you have, you, did you ever get a piece? By the hand taker to El Baño? What was that, El Baño? El Baño. The bathroom? What? Yeah. I'm here now. Yeah, the bathroom. Oh, no, I, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> well, let me ask you, did you ever get a piece of chocolate, McCollum? Me? Yeah. No, 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 Four. no. The, the, the dust. Did you ever get a piece of chocolate? Oh, 100%. Yeah, I got How was uh, it? How two. Was it? I mean, I'm a fan. I had the whole Don't bar, bro. Your goddamn race, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be defaming your race, man. Hell yeah, man. Go and make some white. Well, I mean, now I'm married, and yeah, no, I'm I'm married and have a kid. We got a bun in the oven, but my wife also knows, and she's a Niners fan, unfortunately. So that's well. I mean, hey, see the it continues. She got a Black Lives Matter um t-shirt on. No, she she has like company t-shirts on. Oh well, that's good. I mean, yeah, keep, 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 you know, keep your family together, man. Go to work and save your money and shit, man. Oh hell yeah, but yeah, <laughs> I, I always get a kick out of hearing this stuff. Nah, oh, I know, man, just call him and talk shit, you know. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh man. What made you, you guys agree about? though? Our fan base is a little weak. Baby. I got to get up in the morning, man. I talk to you. I appreciate y'all. Right, one love, bro. One love. All right, one love, gentlemen. All right. Hey, good laughs. Loads of love, man. Yes, sir. Likewise, my friend. Cha cha. What, what made uh -huh. you become a Panther friend out in Utah, bro? Oh well, my mom. Uh, I'm I'm kind of funny. My my dad's like a little bit white trash guy, mm -hmm. and my mom was a, an angel, but she was a Niners fan. Unfortunately, she was murdered when I was eleven. But oh, shit. Sorry, her and I, like, we had a. Ah, I mean, no, uh, way back yeah. when, but um, it just was like a fun rival to watch the games together, and we'd always laugh because at the time with Kerry Collins and Steve Berline, we were smoking everybody in the division in the NFC West. And by default, we had the coolest jersey. So I just was like, yeah, this is my fucking team. Steve Smith came from Utah and L1. We had the Peppers, Rucker, that whole team uh, with DeLome and Moosin. But yeah, it was just. Shout out to the nigga in the chase. The big cat, what are you watching? Bruce Almighty. Watching Bruce Almighty. Lamar Latham, plain linebacker, first year. Yep. Clemson. Yeah, good stuff. Hey, hey, I love, I love Leo, but you sound like Uncle Ruckus right now, bro. Mm -mm. Shout out to Leo. <laughs> you you sound like Uncle Ruckus right about now. Leo Jones. women. Leo Jones. Remember back with him, bro. <laughs> 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 who, we, who we got online here? It's Martel. Big What's up, Martel and the Scat Pat? What's good, baby? Hey, I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Out here working, driving through Atlanta right now. What you coming out here to get? Man, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on my way to uh, Alabama to drop a load. I'm going back to Charlotte. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. You going to week? How long is that right? drive? Uh, four and a half hours there, four and a half hours back, so ten hours altogether. Oh shit. Yeah, so I leave about seven, six thirty in the afternoon. I get back around six thirty, shit, six o'clock in the morning. There you go. Mark, How are the way? Never made that drive. How are? The what? How were the way stations? Do you make your hours, or do you have to cut they, off? Uh, they be closed by the time I get through them. That's something the day drivers gotta go through. I pass them. Uh, Sometimes if they open, I blow the doors off them damn way stations. I'll be, <laughs> be like, nah, I'm good. Stay right there. Stay right there. Be careful. You know, hot dollar where you can roll through them motherfuckers, right? Where you got that little BB to beep, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, be careful, Martel, oh, because uh, on my way to the crib tonight, man, I don't know what's going on, but they got the main street block off. They had a bunch of trucks pulled over. It was like... I don't know if they, what they were doing, but they were only pulling over big trucks. I don't know what the fuck they were doing, bro. I, I ain't and, never seen it. Nah, they they would do that sometimes. They'll start doing inspections on a bunch of trucks, uh -huh. and it's just it's just a, their way of shit trying to make extra money for the damn state. Gotcha, gotcha. 
yeah, but 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 shout out to you, cause yeah, cause if they doing that shit, then yeah, I better take extra precautions. Yeah, be tonight. careful, bro. They niggas out here, bro, tonight. Yeah. One time, man. Speaking of that, you you pulling up on Atlanta week one, right? Nah, week two, Monday night. Why you don't want to come to Atlanta week one, Sunday night? Uh, just. Just to drive, man. I mean, I, I drive enough. I don't feel like driving down there, man. What do you think about J.C. Horn can't, can't get right ankle? Um, You know what? I'm kind of a person that's like, if this shit is out of my control, I kind of not get too much upset about it. There really ain't shit we can do about the situation. I don't think we're going to be able to trade him. I don't think we would trade him anyways. I just think at this point, we just going to have to roll with it and hope yeah. for the best. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I, so, I think he gets right. I think he figures it out. And we um, can't trade him. We can't. We can't trade him. I, I just hope. I, I just hope he get. This is the injury he, he has for the year. I hope this is the only injury he has for the year. Get it out the way. If you want to have one, have that shit now. Don't have it in the middle of the season. Don't have it late in the season when we need you on the field. Get that shit out the way now. If you have it during the season, late in the season. Hey, we know what time it is, man. We gotta start looking for his replacement. Yeah, well, and the bad thing is, last year is, uh, I mean, he got injured twice, right? He had a quad issue. He got hit in the ribs by uh, Jeremy Chin. Oh, his ribs, then, yeah. Then he broke his wrist as well. <laughs> yeah, the wrist one we can't control, obviously. Chin, Chin busted that shit up, but then the, I mean, the ribs, of course, that's the bad part. It's yeah. like Jeremy Chin accidentally, whatever, it was the Lions game. They were going for a tackle. He ran into a yep, kid. Yep. Yeah, that was what cost us the, the Bucks game, essentially. That and Jackson being down, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. shitty. <laughs> it, it was a blessing in disguise, though. It was a blessing in disguise, because if we would have won that game, um, I don't know if we would have been able to move up where we was at to get Bryce Young. We probably would have got maybe, maybe C.J. Stroud, you know what I'm saying? But uh, and we were probably looking at either Anthony Richardson or Will Levis at that point. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah if we got Will Levis, I would have been sick. <laughs> I would have been lit. I'm so it, done it, with this shit. <laughs> it ain't. It ain't lit. Shout out to my man Brandon Ward. I'm gonna be in the A Big Cat. You doing a meet and greet before the game? Yeah, let me know, man. Hit my email. Let me know where you're gonna be at. Have a few beers, take some pictures and shit before the game, brother. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, I'm hoping we have some uh, Bijan Mustard with Falcon Week 1. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, hell yeah. That, I mean, it'll be fun just to watch it. And then uh, Monday night, I think it's the first time I see the bank lit up like we used to, you know, mm-hmm. in yeah. some time. Yeah. So that'll well, be so a fun since you, since you were in Atlanta, uh, Big Cat, well, how optimistic are uh, Falcon fans about uh, Desmond Ritter? Or do they believe he is their franchise, their uh, franchise quarterback? Fuck no, man. I think them motherfuckers believe in that running the game, though. I've been mm. watching these motherfuckers. They, they cuckoo for Cocoa Puff with Bijan. They think Bijan <laughs> the next best thing, man, but uh, they not really high on Ritter, bro. They not really high on that nigga. Wow. I get the sense that they want to they kind of just, they want to kind of lose so they can get Caleb Williams. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think that's what's going to happen is they might – I mean, Bijan is – I I see him out here in Austin. I'm in Austin, Texas, so I watched him all the time here at UT. But there's no fucking way uh, they're planning on having a good year as far as offense. I think they're going to end up in the sweepstakes with the Bijan Robinson. Is the, the white man coming out from North Carolina, he coming out? Uh, hmm? Drake May. Yeah, the white king. Yeah, Derek Mays. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Drake May's coming out. Mm. I, I'm hoping, I'm, I, I'm hoping the Buccaneers ain't. I know they're gonna be bad, but I hope they ain't that bad to the point they're gonna have the number one or number two pick. Martel, one Martel, of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's play for our division to have a few more wins. And the Cardinals, who else is in the shit division right now? Mm-hmm. Martel, what, think, Martel, what's your favorite state to get a lot lizard? Uh, uh, I'm be honest with you. I don't really. Only states I've traveled through is, you know, I mean, of course, I'm from North Carolina. I just go through South Carolina, Georgia, and Alabama, and they don't do lottery there. So if I was a pick one, I'd actually be where you at. Shit, Georgia, mm-hmm. be honest. So that's your favorite lottery, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Shit, believe it or not, we got casinos in North Carolina. So do you wear a condom with them? Wear a we condom got them. with them. We got one in the mountains. We got one right above Charlotte. Casinos? Yeah. Did you say casinos? Okay. Yeah, go in there and you, you know, you do your thing. Uh, you, like uh, there's one you get a card. There's one you put your money in and you get the little ticket. But it, it's still like thousands and thousands of them. Um, machines, and you can play cards. You can do whatever you want. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Kings well, Mountain. I think it's called Kings Mountain, oh, right yeah. above Charlotte. Mm. Now, now, Martel, what do you think about Bryce Young being the number one starter? So, so you, you think they anointed him too fast? Man, nah. Everybody knew this shit. I mean, if you knew football, you knew that mm. he was going to be the starter. I mean, I. Again, it's just a formality, and I, I said this a couple of weeks ago. I was, but I was pissed off, and I said, and I said, um, you know, them not naming him the starter, or they must have seen some shit, or they must have had buyers and more. That was me that said that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, man, but bro, everybody knew he was going to be the week one starter. They just, you know, they just trying to do it the formality, the formal way. Yeah, you know, that's it. You know, yeah, we got I, the, I, I we think got Andy the knows. Dude, this coaching even, staff is a shit. Did you see, guys see what Tremble was saying about yeah, Rule? Yeah, we talked about well, that. We, yeah, night. we talked about that last night. Yeah. Fuck, man. I missed that video. But he's got him just to hear the, the disrespect for Rule. That just got me fired up. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm thinking Trimble, a lot of our you know guys I mean? might really be better than we thought. You know, niggas and accountability, you know, they don't really, you know, they go together. Yeah. It's like peanut butter and mayonnaise. This is going to be fun. I, I, what do you guys think is going to be better than we thought? Like was, after the shitty coaching regime. Was it not Bridgewater said they didn't even practice in zone? Yep, yeah, that's what he said. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I could believe that too because that shit, you could actually see how bad we was in the red zone. It made sense. Yeah, we were terrible they ever since the, the field, was They gone. got inside the 20, they could not do not a damn thing. Like, they could go down the field with Bridgewater. Like, Bridgewater was not a bad quarterback for the Panthers. I don't care what anybody says. He was a good quarterback for the Panthers. Yeah, he was decent. But coaching coaching just sucked. Yeah, excuse me, Kat, do, you, do you like Bojangles? Love Bojangles. Biscuit. Love Bojangles? Biscuits. <laughs> their, chi their, their chicken ain't worth shit. I know, right? It yeah. really ain't. No, I, I was going to say their chicken isn't that good. Do you guys like yeah. uh, Raising Cane's? Do they have that out Love Raising in the Cane, Carolinas? Yeah. Love Raising Cane. Cane's is a shit, yes, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me old candy at combo. It's called Hardee's in Carolina. <laughs> Bojango chicken slimy than a motherfucker. Slimy skin ass chicken. It's Cane's better as Hardee's here. Not as slimy as KFC. They just shut KFC down. KFC sucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it ain't well, been KFC. the same since the night. No, had, that's because they, they removed the Utah the where I lived. They had the flour out there they used. That was what made the, the bread good. Then they, they stopped using them. Man, the last time I had a... I, I was craving it for some odd reason a couple of weeks ago. I thought my wife was going to be up in KFC and... <laughs> Uh, I, I started eating it, and I just put the chicken down. I threw it away. I, I had to spit it out. My wife was like, what's wrong? I was like, I think I'm about to throw up. This shit is nasty. <laughs> <laughs> nasty yeah, fuck KFC. Yeah, I have a vengeance again. I'm, like, my own city literally had, like, their big thing was the Lehigh Roller Mills. It's in, like, a an old movie, Grease. They, Kevin Bacon does, like, a dance with uh, a girl there at the, like, roller mill area. And uh, they, that's what we were known for because it's such a small, tiny ass town. And then they st they got the contract for KFC. It actually boosted their sales. And then they they shut them down. They like abandoned them out of nowhere, and their chicken turned to shit. So I was like, "Fuck KFC!" So I have a vengeance, anyways. But Canes just eats their ass anyway. Let me ask you: How how big is it? What your KFC? My city. 
Wait, oh, where I'm from? Oh, sorry, it keeps cutting out. Are you cutting out, big cat? Y'all hear big cat? No, I can't. I don't hear big cat. I don't hear him at all. We're all just waiting for the big cat. A grande. <laughs> I see him on TV. I don't, I don't see Big Cat say nothing. He's just too nice or some shit. Whatever the fuck you're doing. Spitting seeds. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, so, I, I'm going to go to all uh, football games that y'all been to. Uh, the Panthers? Yeah. Well, just any football game in general. Oh, she's my first thing. I went to a, like, with my grandpa's football, a Packers fan. Favorite football game Panthers ever did? What yeah, the reason I Yeah, yeah. How many? I, I went to the Packers versus the uh, Cardinals when I was like 11 with my grandpa. And then I, uh, my next one was a Panthers game at Candlestick in 2013 when the Panthers beat the Niners by one when we lost in the uh, playoffs next uh, to the Niners. And then I went back. I went to two of them in Carolina. No, three of them in Carolina and two in Houston now. Who's that talking? Who's that talking? That was Dustin the Mormon. Okay. okay, okay. Yeah, so maybe seven, eight. But I have to fly every time, so it's a whole damn show. You coming in the game this year? Hell yeah, I want to take uh, three of the kids out here that I have that work for me. Um, they're a Cowboys fans, so I want to take them out there to Carolina. The kids are Cowboys fans? Yeah, yeah. Well, not mine. The guys oh. that work for me. So I'll, uh, I have a pest control company I own out here and that I started seven years ago. So I'll take them out there and write it off as a company expense and uh, get to watch Panthers. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Business trip. I got to meet you, man. Well, come on out here, man. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Send me your email. I, I'll come along with you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll uh, I'll put that in the, the chat here in a minute. No, no, no. You send it to me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't put it know? in the chat. I, I think... Don't, I think, don't, don't, yeah. don't hog it all, big cat, because no, no, no. I want to be at VanFest or, uh, in Spartanburg. Oh, well, you uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll send. You have my email, I think, right? Yeah, I think it's Big Cat it's, it's from the uh, Venmo. Is it three sixes? Oh, let me see. No, it's a. Uh, I'll, I'll just uh, send it over to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn it to me. Solid. Uh, how, how much does a bottle of beer cost in the game? You know what I'm saying? Because I've been to a couple of games, but I ain't never, you know, bought no alcohol. I'm trying to get uh, fucked up Monday night. So how much? I... <laughs> how much a bottle of beer cost? I, I would tell I will tell you this in Atlanta at the Mercedes Benz, like food and beer and everything else was actually like not bad. Like it like like in North Carolina shit is stupid when you buy beer and food. Oh fuck, I took out a mortgage. I had to I had to I seen the prices for food and beer and I was like, Are you freaking kidding me? Like I could actually afford it. Like, oh, in Carolina, like, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah I, I was so drunk I was trying to buy DJ Moore's mom uh, a couple drinks. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's, it, it, it's like ten dollars. Oh, God, it's like it's stupid here, dude. It's like <clears throat> yeah, about fourteen, well, fifteen more, bucks. More like eight, but it's like ten dollars. No, you gonna pay about fourteen, fifteen bucks for that goddamn beer, Martell. God damn, yeah, bro. Yeah, you're going to pay a motherfucker, bro. Yeah, yeah. You, you're walking back in America. Uh, go ahead and just wipe out your bank account. Pretty much, because... man. You better come with about $500 for drinks. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that was mind blowing. And I got fucked up at my hotel beforehand. Uh, yeah. yeah, don't do that. Don't you know, that. I, was, I was already at the bar fucked right. up. And you were sort of broke when you went back, but, huh? Right. Oh, dude, I almost missed my flight. <laughs> Dead ass. I couldn't even. I was, uh, my friend was like 10 steps ahead. And I was like, where the fuck? Where's he at? And then he was going out to San Francisco because that's where he lives. He's a police officer out there that's dope, that's a Niners fan. 
and he was uh, trying to get the um, DJ Moore to tell his uh, son to leave us and go to the Niners. So. <laughs> it was hella funny, but yeah, I, we didn't even know where we were at. We were so gone. Yeah, don't don't walk into Bank America. You're done. Yeah, it's a pricey one. Now, Martell in the scat uh, pack. Do you really drop a scat pack? Yeah, yeah, I really drop one. Yeah. What year? Twenty uh, seventeen. Any modifications on it? Nah, it's it's all uh, base. There ain't nothing. Ain't done nothing to it. How, how you like it? Oh, I love it, man. It's it's a fun car, bro. It ain't too it ain't too much power. It's enough power to have fun with. Okay. Yeah. I go through tires like a bug. <laughs> how much them tires? How much them tires run you? But for for a set, at least like eleven hundred. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, man. The maintenance, you know, and you know, I, I got like them. When you change spark plugs, you know, I got sixteen spark plugs. I got to change. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's all fucked off, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You ain't got no big stupid ass rims on them, do you, brother? Nah, bro, hell no. Good, uh, good, good. Hell no. <laughs> hell no. Yeah. Don't put no. Don't put no. You, what you got white leather tires or something? Yeah, you ain't got them twenty twos or the thin, the thin, thin little tires on them. Gonna... Nah, man, I ain't got no chrome shit on my shit. Hell, that's you trash. Guys... <laughs> you guys see what the folks do out here in Texas <laughs> with those rims? Nah, I mean, what are they do? Exactly. I take. What they uh what they call those things uh fucking uh is they Dayton? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Dayton's are uh, from like uh, L.A. really originally, but the the ones out here, dude, they look like they I don't even know what the fuck they're called, but they like poke out like they're the Joker's hat. Oh yeah, I know what you're know? talking about. But now Them people are welding on steers on curb, it. Curb, curb, shit. Curb, yeah, that curb thing, that. the curb thing. The yeah. curb, yeah, the yeah. curb shit. Yeah, they put a curb. <laughs> So they're not like Dayton's, but they look, I mean, they have the spokes and shit, but they're po poking out, so it looks stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a fake titty or some shit. Right. It seems like every few years, them things start poking out even further, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they might, that ain't down there 10 feet long now. We got diesels out here driving with them. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh. But yeah, when I was going to, I, I, I I thought I was gonna go all out. I'm thinking about I'm thinking about buying a damn Black Panther costume Monday night football. I'm trying to make it on me. Yeah, put your put I'm talking about the, the costume. real costume. Yeah, put your Oh hell out. yeah. Who you wanna be nigga nigga Panther? Say what? <laughs> What'd you say? I ain't hear what you said. But yeah, I'm trying to buy the but uh, that shit cost it's gonna cost about a what? It's on uh eBay. Uh, $175 for an actual black panther costume. Mm. So, you gonna go by J Cat or what? Say what? I can't hear you, oh. Big Cat. I don't hear Big Cat neither. Oh, there he is. <laughs> so, you said your old lady got your tickets in the, in the suites, right? You're in the suite. No, the um, club, club seat. Club seat, club seat. Yeah. Oh, who's Pooji now, huh? Got club seat, huh? Yeah. No, the club, club seat's seat. the one on the field, right? No, nah, they like they like in the middle, like in the middle section, like and they got a they, um, they got great area that goes up, and then you got little smoke rooms and all that stuff. I worked there for two years. I was there. With yeah. You. Yeah, I know. Oh, I that's know. dope, man. How how was it working at the stadium? Dude, I was there. I was there. I walked down. I walked walked down and with my little path. And I Carl, how many shitty toilets you clean while you were there? The path to Ricky Pro to beat the Jaguars. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, that's cool. Oh yeah. yeah. I I got I, Ricky Pro's yeah, autograph for one like, game. I was literally right there at the end zone, and I seen that. I was like. What do you do when you see it? What do you do when you see it? They're like, that's cool. What do you do when you see it? They didn't know they were going to the Super Bowl, you what, know? What do you do when you see it? Yeah. But it was like, that was fucking cool, you know? But, yeah. 
I, I went there. I was there the Super Bowl year, and then I, I worked at the stadium the next year. Oh, yeah? Of course. Was oh! Chiefs was that back then? 2003 or four was it? Uh, 2000. How did it feel? Yeah. To, how did it feel to clean about the professional athlete? Okay, that I, I guess I was just wondering what Super Bowl. How did, how, also, Big Cat, is yeah. that that New Jersey? How did it feel to clean? I want to know what the, the color difference is in the blue. On, bro. How did it feel to is clean it back about, like to the retro the blue fuck? from the? No, 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 no. This ain't this ain't the new one. This is uh, a King McQuanu. This is from the last run around. No, this ain't the new one yet. Oh, cool. I, I, yeah, I'm excited to see what that fucking blue is like. You know what I miss, man, dude? That shit ain't retro. Enough, man, it's just a little lighter color. You know, it's uh, like like this. You you don't want to like the black girls, right? Just, uh, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. So, yeah. I mean, it's not. It ain't nothing special. I mean, you got the you got the light skin, you got the chocolate, you got the mocha, but it's still chocolate. I mean, you know, it's still so same with the same with the color jersey. I mean, just. Lighter blue, you know. <laughs> it ain't shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a different version of nigga, you know what I mean? <laughs> I ain't got nothing shit. Oh, I ain't Lord. fucking shit special about that shit. I ain't you know? got <laughs> Different little color blue. Come on now. The fuck no, is but it? bro. Hey, can fuck we all man. agree, though, that Reebok had our sickest jerseys? Yeah, they Those did. 2011 and back, yeah, dude. Did. Those jerseys yeah. are way sicker. I'm done with all the new combos too. Oh, yo. Other than the the full black ones. You sure like black a lot. You don't ever like the white jersey. I like the white jersey. It's my favorite jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I do, man. I like the white jerseys better than the black ones. Yeah. Me too. I like the I, like I like the, the old blue jerseys too. I don't. I don't like the color rush. I, I don't like all the mix ups they've done the last few years. Yo, I like the original uh -huh. speed. I, no, love all blue. I would love to see the color rush with the blue helmet. If they were the blue from like the Reebok series of blue, it would oh, be yeah. cool, but I think that's it. I don't like the new blue. Why? I don't There's know. no difference, dude. There's really no difference. Like, well, the, it, it's more of an aqua blue back in that. Look, like when nigga, Steve blue and blue, playing. man. I don't even know what that blue and blue, man. Aqua blue, powder blue, light blue. No, I agree, but it, it has, it has it had more of a sheen. Let me, tell, tell right there, let tell me ask you this, Dustin. Like, it's like, it's like, if you see that blue, you know that's Panther blue. You know, Panther blue, that's you right. know, Carolina blue. You know, like, you're, you're a bulldog, I know that. That's so right. you know you're red, right? Stay right there, you, stay right there. Let me ask you, let me ask you a question. Carolina blue, you know it. Duke blue. <laughs> I can't say that. I, I hate it. I hate zero. I hate the number switching. I'm tired of all of that. Especially for everybody uh, buying jerseys and shit. I, I think the cha the number change thing, it's, I mean, maybe I'm old school, but I'm uh, addicted to, like, the tradition of numbers in different positions. But at the same time, what do you do? It's not going to make okay. a difference. You know what I just thought of, Big Cat? Why he might have done that? Don't don't players don't players get a percentage of the jersey sales? They do, but they they also have to. That's why they have to buy their jersey too if they don't. Did oh, Mark yeah, Burke yeah. have to buy out all his uh, old numbers? But which is also indication oh. that he's going to get a contract from us. I think they're talking. So the way Scott Fitter was talking, I I, I don't think he's going over. No, no. I mean, if we could have got two ones and we traded away fucking DJ Moore, which was a one, two ones and a two, right? Am I or swapped ones and a two twos? I mean, yeah, he's staying with us if we haven't traded him yet. Nah, it ain't gonna make no damn difference. It's just a double. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it won't make a difference. Is Spider Burns, uh, is he a 15 sack boy? I mean, man. I think he can be. I mean, right now, if you look at him, we we all love Peppers. Of course, his. No, hey, hey, ho, 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 hey, hey, ho, ho, ho. Don't you ever put Peppers in that nigga in the same sentence in your life. <laughs> wait, 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 w
This thing started love off with peppers and burns. Nigga, don't you ever put the... Let me stop, you though. Better, wait, wait. You better change. Right now, their sack totals are pretty close for the hey, first year. Don't do it, sir. Don't just... Don't. No, I'm, I'm not going to say that don't he's going to be equal or even better or anything, but... That is a king out there. You see that number? You see that, you see that jersey right there? <laughs> That's a fucking. Did y'all ever watch? No, I got, I got watch. the ninety, bro. I got it. That was my second jersey, yeah, and it's a Reebok one. I was telling you about oh, yeah. white. Oh yeah, it looks dope. Bro, Peppers and his prom, good grish, bro. I tell you, man. Oh, yeah. No, he and he did more than just sacks. So Burns being close to him and sacks is different. But like, remember him returning fumbles, yeah. intercepting balls, oh, doing yeah, some crazy Pepper, freaky Pepper's shit. Peppers dropped back in coverage. Peppers, yeah. Peppers was right. He was stupid. You know he what? Was, I he, hope he gets. I hope he gets in the he, Hall of Fame because I'm, I'm gonna go a, up there. I'm gonna go up there next year if he is in the Hall of Fame. Peppers, Peppers should have been. Yeah, on a good team. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like we were not a good team. He should have been on a good team. Oh yeah. I mean, we, well, that's why we got him. <laughs> you know. I, I know. I know. I know. It's, it's, but I mean, he made us a good team. We we turned up quick with that team mm-hmm. with the new coaching. Steven Davis, Jake DeLome out of nowhere. We had something kind of cool there. Let me ask you this. What did you pay Brian Burns uh, uh, annually? Annually, how much would you pay him? Man, I'm waiting to see everybody else get paid because they're not no, paying no, a lot no, of people no, right no, now. No, 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 nigga. How much are you willing to pay him annually? What's it going great for uh, DNs right now? Because stay right there. I'll pull it up. DN... Stay right there. We're gonna pull up. Don't you say a word. Cool. Yeah. Tackles, DNs, quarterbacks. Who's first? First, uh, answer this question. Who's the best DN in the league? Just answer that question. Who's the best pass rusher? Nick, <laughs> Nick Bosa. Nick <laughs> Bosa by landslide. All right, fine. We gotta find out how much Nick Bosa. Is Don't worry. Because... I got you. I got you. Give me no, one he, second. He, he's 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 not even in contract yet. Let he's me, he's let in let negotiations. Let me pull, let me pull it up for you right here. Nick right. Bosa will be getting paid. So while he's pulling that up, answer this question. Do you think Brian Burns is better than Nick Bosa? Mm. No. 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 no, I mean, like I just said, Nick uh, Bosa is the best uh, in the league. Uh, yeah. huh. And Michael Parsons number two, maybe? When did he get that contract? Dude? When did Nick Bosa get it? Uh, he hasn't got it yet. Oh, yeah, he hasn't they're, got they're it yet. The same, yeah, they're in the same draft class. Ooh, boy, they better sign. They better do it before Nick Bosa. I must. That's all I'm gonna say. Well, Nick get... Bosa, like, I, it could be a thing. I think that's why he's waiting too. Because Nick Bosa, he either way, he knows we're gonna get him. But you know, Nick Bosa is gonna set the market, and then Burns will have to like humbly say, "Yeah, I'm not that good." But he got to do like, what he has to do. He got to humbly say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. yeah I, I mean, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not gonna get Why that. Why did I say you got to say? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, big cat! Like, it ain't you like that. Right. I like that. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, you're damn right, niggas. Humbly say that shit. It was a couple. It was a couple of players that had to humble themselves. Shaq Thompson had to do it. Dante Jackson had to do it. Yeah, I don't. Um, hey, no. Jackson gonna have to do it again if he gets injured I'm again. Humbly say, you gonna have to humbly get the fuck out. Stay right there. Let me let me take a, let me take a look at this nigga shit. Hold on. We gonna find out how much he was. And I want you to tell me. Stay right there. Let me. Let me I'm pulling this shit up right now. Stay right there. Uh, well, we need to. In in the meantime, we either gotta get Ingram or. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm kind of weird, but I don't, I'm not too worried about a wide receiver group with the way that new boy is dropping dimes. We got depth on the O line. All right, so I think stay right, there, stay right there. We're gonna go to edge rush, okay? Does, does nobody want us to go get D Hop? Because uh, I don't think so. No. Uh, uh, stay right there, y'all. Don't, don't you think that would just be a, like a complete security for Rice. <sighs> Yeah, but I think Bryce is going to do good with. I mean, look at his last year in Alabama, bad O line, and didn't have a lot of weapons. Uh, He's still bald, so. Now, Martell, why you want to get a Hellcat? Why you want to be known as Martell in the Hellcat? Shit, I got look. I didn't look when I went to the dealership. I was looking for an RT, and I was like, "Y'all got any RTs?" This was during COVID. It was like it was like, "Yeah, we got an RT," and it was the older RTs with the old body style. I was like, mm-hmm. nah, I, I want the newer uh, body style RT. And they was like, okay, well, let's, so let's go in the floor room. The scat pack was in the floor room. It was like, what about the scat pack? I said, I can't afford no damn scat pack. 
He was like, we'll work with you. We'll work with you. I'm like, man, nah, fuck that. I'm not getting no scat pack. And they sent me down to computers, bro. They started like, look, we can get you in a, a scat pack. I'm not even going to tell you what they said. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you what the car payment was gonna be at first. It was like, man, what about this car payment? I was like, man, I can't do that. It was like, let me let me cold start it for you. They cold start the damn scat pack on the floor room show, so uh, floor. I said, oh, that shit sounds too damn good. I said, how much is it again? I was like, man, give me the pen. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on now, nigga. Now, now, how much did you pay down payment? I put five thousand down. Okay, now what did they want initially monthly? They wanted seven eighty monthly. Is that what you're still paying now? No, I gotta refine that. I gotta refine that. Way back, half of that now, half of that. So, so what do you do? It, it worked out. What do you do with a? That's car gonna be like a that? fun car. They do sound good too. Yeah. yeah. What's so what, yeah. what do you do like that? Do you go around picking up bitches or racing or what? Nah, bro. I, I see. I, I can't race. I'm a truck driver. I just, I just you know, play with it. You know, I pull in the interstate fast and shit. You know, do some hard pulls. You know, nothing, nothing crazy. How many niggas you picked up in it? I ain't picked up none. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at this edge rusher category right here. Uh, the, we're talking about annual value per year. So we're talking about per year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, uh, what's the Going great right now, top tier. TJ Watt is number one at twenty eight million. Bosa, yeah, and and Bosa will be above that, right? Bosa's at twenty seven million, number two. Miles Garrett Nick? is number three at uh, no, that's Joey, Joey Bosa. Joey, okay. Yeah, number three, yeah. Miles Garrett, twenty five million. Uh, uh, Khalil, Garrett's getting fucked. Khalil Mack is twenty three five million. Max Crosby uh, annual income is uh twenty three five number let's see one two three four five That's I think six. we're gonna be paying twenty three plus Bradley Chubb he's making twenty two million Leonard Williams of the Giants making twenty one million and Von Miller's making twenty million as an edge rusher I say somewhere in the plus. I say somewhere in the middle so that's, that's the highest and the lowest so let's do this right here is is Brian Burns better than Von Miller? No. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, is, and would, and more dependable. Is is yeah. Is he better than Leonard Williams? Yeah. Is he better than Bradley Chubb? Yeah, I think so. I think he's better than Chubb. Is he better than Max? Close. Is he better than Max? It is close. Is he better than Max Crosby? I mean, I think he's more versatile than Max Crosby. Crosby's kind of uh, he's he's good, of course, but he's I think he's more of a one trick pony. Okay, stay right there. Let's take a look at this one trick pony. <laughs> <laughs> stay right there. We're gonna do something real quick. Stay right there. Don't go nowhere. Who said that? What's that? What's that? What's that? My white king out of uh, Utah. <laughs> yeah, stay dude. Right there. Let's take a look at some. No, I've watched all this, buddy. Yeah. We don't need to put me in the university, dog. <laughs> so last year he had twelve and a half sacks. The year before eight. Uh, and the year before he had seven, so I think he had exactly around the same as Brian Burns last year. So yeah, and, but Brian Burns also had nobody for a coach, right? Yeah, Does that so, kind of work for him at all. So so let's say this: Matt Crosby making twenty three five. Is that about fair for Brian? Twenty three twenty three five. I mean, I think it's fair, but I think he'll get more. I yeah, think, because I, think I feel like the, the price up every year. Twenty three five, and, and we real we also yeah the cap's going up. Plus, we also could have had two first rounders, and we know we denied those. Okay, let's say it like this. Okay, is he worth twenty five million a year? I give it to him. Yeah, I would. Yeah. So Miles, the end in so the My, tackle. Miles the Garrett. Miles Garrett is making twenty five million. Is, is he yeah, no, Miles. Miles. That's why I said Miles Garrett got fucked because also above Miles Garrett, you got the other Bosa brother yeah. that's not as good as Miles Garrett, yeah. and he's getting overpaid. Okay. So I'm gonna stay at twenty three five. I'm gonna put it on the table. Twenty three five should be fair. I, I mean, I'm I'm very happy if he takes that. Yeah. But we also have uh, the caps going to be nice for us. We, that we next still got to sign Bryce Young and shit. We still got to sign our rookie cut Bryce and the rest of those guys. Don't we have thirty million though? Uh, take twenty seven. <laughs> think of twenty seven million. Twenty seven. Yeah, something 27. in there. I said, uh, I said let's, let's give him a six year deal, hundred and forty million. 
Give him 23 and a half, something like that. Who 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 gets that? Burns. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. But also, do you see who falls off the cap next year? Who? I think we're going to have a lot of freedom who, who, in cap space if that? you look at it. I can't remember uh, the names, but analytics, I, I remember is looking at it. Cap next year for us is going to be pretty pretty. Because we're also out of, outside of contracts that we're paying for that we don't. I think we still paying for Trey Boston. Yeah, we still paying for a bunch of niggas. Luke Kickley. Yeah, Luke, exactly. Luke Kickley. Uh, <laughs> who else? We paying a bunch of motherfuckers still, bro. Y'all, y'all be y'all be wondering why Luke Kickley be showing up to practice and shit. He ain't showing up because he wants. To... <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> He's showing up to get his fucking check. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why are we paying Luke? Does anybody know? Yeah, because. He... What man, hold on. <laughs> that man said he's coming to pick up his check. That's the yeah, only reason he... why he's so much. <laughs> he ain't coming yeah. for no motherfucking other reason. <laughs> Damn. But wait, wait, why are we still paying Luke? I didn't even know that. I guess the, I, I, I'm not really sure how it works. I'm not really good. That's contracts or whatever, but I guess just the way when he retired, that's how much money he still owed him, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. But that's not my forte. Maybe Big Cat can tell you a little bit more about it. So. Yeah, that, that makes me confused. I'm like, man, that fucking guy abandoned us. He up and I left. Like, now, I love him and no, he's he still a legend. But... Us. Why are you trying to say he abandoned us? No, he didn't abandon us. <laughs> yeah, Did I you mean, say he abandoned us? He abandoned us because of rule. No, man, he was getting his fucking brain knocked around. He was his snot. No, no, I know that. But, but I, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I say he's a legend, so I can't be yeah, mad. Man, I know why mad. he left. And yeah, maybe you still owe him for what he did for us. Sh- see, the problem is you into chocolate so much, you don't realize white, love- white men ain't <laughs> value their health. White men value their health. He, he said, look, you big brawlic, I, you big brawlic you ass niggas. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. He said, you big brawlic ass niggas. You can, you can sit around and smash each other, but... I'm going to read to my kids when I get older. Shout out to Luke Kickley. <laughs> he said, uh, you look, you niggas can smash each other apart, but I'm reading to my babies. <laughs> you know what I mean? Y'all can chase that to that money. Luke Kickley said, I will be able to read a Dr. Sue book to my kids to put them to bed. A, B, C, D, left foot, two foot. A lot of you niggas in here, you know, like a certain former quarterback <laughs> out here still playing, broke ball, broke the fuck up, trying to get back into the league. Oh, fuck, get old. Your mother, your mother gonna be so concussed and so fucking, you know, obliterated. That nigga be reading his book. Oh, oh, oh. Daddy, what does Dr. Seuss do? Oh, oh. Go to bed, little Haley. Daddy can't talk right now. His fucking brain is concussed. Oh, I, uh, oh. Put his fucking ass in the bed. Get, get your big ass in the bed. <laughs> Should have quit while you was ahead, nigga. <laughs> I had chasing the death. What, what good is a bag when you can't fucking comprehend, motherfucker? Oh, I get that. I get it all. I, I just, uh, yeah. I just didn't know we were paying him, so I was confused. Yeah. But like, yeah. and and honestly, like he's he fucking <laughs> yeah. literally gave his life for the game. Yeah, yeah, he for did. us. So, oh yeah, it, it sucks. I, I, but. I, I will probably wear that man's jersey. The day I died because he was that's right smart. He was our best backer, that's I think. Right. And Dustin, speaking of his best brother, listen, Dustin, Dustin, speaking of a I mean, white guy I mean, giving his life for us, sound familiar, I'm, don't I'm, it? I'm, <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, 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 This is normal yeah, shit, you know what I mean? Bubba <laughs> giving his life for us and shit, yeah. Uh, I ain't surprised. <laughs> you fucking surprised? Shout out to Luke Kigley. Jesus, too. Now, uh... uh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah I, think, I think Burns worth 23.5, man. I wouldn't go a dollar over 23.5, you know what I mean? I mean that's that's a fair number, especially if he wants to win. He's been tired of losing, right? Yeah, he, yeah. Think about it, man. I mean, if Federer Federer know how to negotiate, which he does, he'll go in there and say, "Look, man, we still gotta have room to add key pieces." You know, 
Think about it, man. How, how big is the cap next year? How big is it going to get? I cannot remember. It, it's definitely uh, tremendously growing, especially with um, YouTube, Google getting involved with the um, uh-huh. Sunday ticket. Yeah. So it's no more direct TV, of course. Oh, yeah. So that contract, I can't remember the details, but I mean, we can all agree that's the shit, especially if you're a Panthers fan out of state. This shit sucks, you know? No, 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 no. Why, why you say it suck? Oh, you you just have to get the um, direct TV for the no, you don't listen, Sunday ticket listen, forever. Listen with me, there, man. Get there, me. there, there is an app for that. Yeah, behind the scenes. Get with me behind the scenes. I'll show you how to. You, you better not pay I one dollar for that shit, man. Not that mean. They're, well, they're I already already bought it now. <laughs> oh, you already bought it. <laughs> yeah, 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 I pre-ordered it for the on YouTube the one because they have Go YouTube on the Premium. Web. Go on the web. There's an app for that. It's all no word. How much you pay? You well, pay three hundred? What three hundred dollars for this shit? No, I think uh, I I got it like because they got my email from like previous years with Directv. I paid about three hundred, but YouTube TV since they like it's their first year, I'm sure it'll go up next year. But if you signed up in a certain amount of time, I got it for a hundred and fifty bucks. Dude, I've been texting and watched every Panther game for free. I, I, I like to say I can tell you how I did it if you want to contact me or get it from Big Cat. Yeah, yeah. If you can call Sounds yeah, man. But yeah, I watched. Cancel that Everything. bullshit. Get your money back, man. Yeah. Well, no, I have to. <laughs> yeah, man. You, can, you don't have to pay for no Panther game. I'm, I'm not even in the bitch, man. I'm not even. You can get that shit yeah, for free, Yeah, you're in bro. ATL, so. Yeah, you can get that shit I free. Would, I, would, I would watch home games. Home games for free. Yep. Like, in Texas, I would watch home games like I was sitting in, you know, Lexington, North Carolina, watching it oh, yeah. for free. My, mama nice. say, Mama say, the quote of the day is, "Don't overpay for NFL football." <laughs> mama say, "Quote of day." So I'm I, apparently I'm paying for the salary cap raise. Yeah, there's ways around it. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, that's fucking shitty. So my man from Texas, uh, where you going to uh, watch the Carolina game? What was that? The other young, young white, tender white man. Where, 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 when are you coming to um, watch the game this year? Um, Carolina. No, not you. The, oh, the, for the, the other, Cowboys game. No, no, no. The other tender white man. Oh, the other one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you there? How many white men we got in the room? <laughs> yeah, just, just, just you. Uh, what, 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 what game are you going to this year? You talking to Timmy? Yes, what game you coming to this year? I want to go to the first home game if I don't go to that. The first home game is the Monday night. Okay? Yeah. <sighs> That's what I'm, I mean, I talked to my girlfriend. We were thinking about doing that. Yeah, she got hookups, but think about doing the first first home game. That shit gonna be crazy. It was the last time the first home, the first home game was a prime time game. Yeah, I don't man. think we ever had that. But they got all our preseason games I don't, on prime I don't time. Think man. We've ever had a first home game and a prime time game. That's they, a good question. Yeah, they got all our preseason no, games. No, we have. We have. Oh wait, not home. Yeah. Yeah. Was it home when we played Denver in 2016? Nah, that was no, uh, that was Denver. See, that was after they won the Super Bowl. We had to go up there and play them. Yeah. Because yeah, they beat our ass in the. Oh, bro, that's some fucked up shit they did. Yeah, that was the game yeah, where Cam was... Newton got headhunted. That was a treat. Destroyed. That's that's a uh, that was a Cam Newton ruiner. <laughs> <laughs> they were head rocking that nigga. Oh, oh! <laughs> yeah, they fucked him up. He was I mean, my uh, He was caught on the wall, bro. You <laughs> It was looking at the I was sitting at a me. restaurant watching my sister's uh, yeah, she was doing her bridal I bridal was, dinner. I would have told no. it was looking nigga was looking at the referee, you help me! God damn it, I'm getting head on it. <laughs> the white referee said, uh uh-uh. uh. Hell nah, nigga. Dab on them folks like you said you uh my, help me. <laughs> was a good treat. Anybody agree about that? Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Catch was a catch. Mm-hmm. Uh, Casey? Yeah. 
Yeah, because I was in Lexington, North, North Carolina. Oh, yeah. I was lacing up my shoes to go to Charlotte You're lacing up and your fucking league. celebrate. Our Super Bowl victory. Oh no, no, I'm talking about the one in fifteen with mm-hmm. Jericho Cotry. That that catch, that was a catch that they oh, yeah. reversed. Catch, catch yes, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was, was bullshit. Yeah. That was a catch. And I can't even talk about that shit no more. I don't, I don't fuss and scream and cry over that shit. I can't even do it no more. Makes Man, it's sick. It makes and me being from Utah, the other guys that aren't Niners fans, they're Broncos fans. So I'm fucked over either way. I lose. I'm like, fuck you guys, fuck you guys. I hate y'all. Oh, yeah. Fuck it out. <laughs> so, you, know, you know that was a catch, right? Oh, it was a catch for sure. I, I just mean, have to convince all my friends that. And they, they're ignorant to the, the facts of it, so... Hey, so big cat. So um, I don't know if you've been following. The, you've been following the Texans, but I, I guess because I watch a lot of Bryce Young videos on YouTube, I get a lot of algorithm with CJ Stroud. And apparently, this nigga's throwing dimes and practice and shit. So, hey, do you Richardson think? Uh, too. Yeah, Richardson too. You, do, do you think uh, CJ Stroud and Richardson is going to have a better year than Bryce Young? Martell, Neither. Martell, nope. look at me. I want you to look at me in my fucking eyes. You there? Uh huh. Pull over, pull I don't over. think pull, so, pull bro. Shit, think about you? who they got. Look at, look at me in my fucking eyes. Yeah. On this channel, we do not give one lick of piss fuck about <laughs> CJ Stroud. We don't give a fuck. Not on this channel. I don't give a fuck about that nigga. But to answer your question, uh, I do believe that Anthony Richardson, he could have a better season than Bryce. If you're talking about individual performance. But I think Bryce... Will lead us to the playoffs. Does that make sense? So, yeah. But if you're talking about individual stats and shit, he probably could have a better number. But I don't give a fuck yeah. about no CJ Stroud. I really don't. CJ Stroud probably gonna have better numbers than Bryce too. You know why? Because they're gonna be trailing. They're gonna be trailing by thirty or forty points a game. All he gonna be doing is throwing hail mary routes and shit. Of course he's gonna have better numbers when you're throwing hail mary routes. You know what I mean? But last he might one, have more picks though too yeah probably have more picks and shit but i think bryce is gonna be playing a lot more competitive games i think he's gonna win a lot more you know what i mean so, oh yeah. yeah oh i think we have more wins in both teams of course yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah i mean we traded up to ask the texans for quarterback oh yeah, mm-hmm. uh, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm curious to see how they crowd uh handles not having top receivers on this thing the first time yeah. <laughs> Now, Martel, keep That's it above. You, you want a Stroud jersey, brother? Say what? Say you, what? You want a Stroud jersey, brother? Hell no. I, man, I've been on Bryce Young ever since you was on Bryce Young. Right. I, think, I think I got on Bryce Young the same time you did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When I found out that Bryce Young was way better under pressure. Yeah. That's when it clicked. I'm like, hold up now. You know, because we, we, we've been used to playing against quarterbacks that excel under pressure, like Drew Brees and shit. And I was like, look. Uh, if we can get a, a quarterback that can handle pressure like Drew Brees, man, give me that nigga. Yeah. Give me, give me the dude that can handle pressure, bro. Mm-hmm. So, nah, fuck, fuck the CJ Stroud jersey. You know, the first time I talked to you, Big Cat, was the day I found out. I was out in Tahoe, California, in the winter, and uh, first time I talked to you was when I found out we traded up, and I was just up all night watching the channel, and I was like, I'm gonna finally call. Mm-hmm. But uh, I was fired up at that point thinking maybe C.J. Stroud just because of that o- Ohio State game versus uh, Georgia. Yeah, of course, of course. I was, but then I was the more research you. I did, I was don't like, feel bad, no, I, don't, I, was I don't want you. Stroud. I was with you. I was on yeah. the same shit, yeah. Yeah, I was I was feeling like, oh, man, he's clutch. Plus, I mean, yeah. he has a little bit more of a like a dog in him, I would say. Mm-hmm. Not, not like that. Uh, I mean, maybe Young has just as much dog, but. It's just more granola. So, <laughs> now, what do you mean by granola? What do you mean by that? He, I mean, he's just. I mean, I'm an underdogger like that. I mean, that's one of the things I like about the Panthers. Yeah, so I have like always... white lingo. I don't really know the granola term. <laughs> the fuck does that mean, man? <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean? He's a gritty nigga or whatever. <laughs> the fuck are we talking about here? I like I underdogs breathe. too. I like underdogs too. I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? But, uh, but you know, 100%. But uh, I think he, uh, I mean, just he has a little bit more dog mentality, which I like. Oh, but yeah. 
I, I've fallen in love with Young. I'm just worried about the, you know, like I said, the girth. Well, I don't. He oh, you, like you uh, like girth, huh? Like girth. How much girth you like? Yeah, hey, let's, let's calm down on the grid. <laughs> but uh, like two is two is a lot bigger now, yeah. for a reason. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully, like he can put on some muscle, so he, we just don't have injuries. So, how much muscle do you want to see him pack on? I don't care. I just want him to be safe. No, I don't want to be a no, crash no. dummy. What, what do you mean? How much? How mu- I mean. That's not a good answer, man. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, I mean, how much, how much muscle you want to see him pack on? I mean, I, I, as he for, I mean, he's twenty one, right? Is that his age? Yeah. So of course, with 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 age, I think he'll like naturally get a little bit more developed. So let me ask you this: Should he work out? His, out. Should he work out his lower his lower extremities more? I don't know. <laughs> I think I think his upper body and his neck. He just looks kind of so a little want, bit small for him, us. You want him? To, you want him to be, you know, upper body satiated. Yeah, yeah. I just don't want him to get conco- like get Luke Eakley, you know. I think. Two, um, I, I I I actually think with two with D. I I, see, I know why he did it. He wants to, you know. But I think Bryce's size. Yeah, you. I, I, I'll say give him ten more pounds, but I think Bryce's size is actually what makes him special. You know. Oh, I, and I, I like his height too. I, I think it is like some. I'm thinking of it in a pro in a way too. So yeah, I'm right with you on that. Yeah, and the thing with the thing with they're saying about Will Levis, he's 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 muscle. You know, he's, he's built. But they say the more built a quarterback is, the less flexible. A quarterback is. You don't want to be too damn big up top. Oh, 100 percent. You don't. Want, Will Levis is stupid looking to me as a quarterback. Now, 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 what is yeah. what is good looking to you as a quarterback? I mean, uh, Josh Allen. You know, yeah, you don't have to be like. Uh, I tell you what, boy, you got like some good taste. You got some good taste there. Yeah, I, I, I like Joe Burrow, Josh Allen. Um, and you, shit, there's there's a bunch of them. I I don't. Uh, I mean. God, I even liked Purdy for a minute, and I hate the Niners. I mean, I told you the reason I started liking the Panthers when they came out there, and then NFC West, and everybody's a Niners fan. So I have to hate the Niners. And then I married a Niners fan myself. So, uh, now how does that feel that you intermarried with a different uh, team? It sucks, man. It sucks. <laughs> Especially now, you know, when she's you know trying to train can, my son to be you, a Niners what's fan. What's that right there? No disrespect. You know how you can. You know how you can fix that, right? How? Let, <laughs> let me mute myself. <laughs> I've I've never done anal sex. <laughs> 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 but yeah. hey, guys, I want, hey guys, I want to thank you for the chat and yeah. everything like that. I want to say keep pounding, keep big pounding. cat. Love you, dude. Yeah, you too, man. Thank you, man. I hope to see you in Fortburg. I got to tap out. I got uh, construction work to do in the morning. No so uh, anyway, guys, thank you, thank you, everyone in the chat, man. Love you guys. Keep pounding keep and pounding. go Panthers. Keep pounding. Go you Panthers, have a good one, man. man. Shout out to you for calling in, brother man. Thank you for having a having the courage. To Who call last time uh, you play Madden in your DK? Fuck Madden. I, listen, I I just I can't get erect for it on the controllers, man. I can only get on here and I play like you, you know the gameplay is just so bad. I can't. Even, it's like I can't even play it, bro. It's like I just I log in, I play like a couple rounds, and then I go to two K or I go to Spider. Yeah, or I go to. Spider-Man. I used to worship Madden. Yeah, it's bad, man. It's, it stinks. And now, man. now it's like franchise mode. I'm like, I just want to play online and like fuck people up. 
And it's it's so hard to do that now. Shout out to CJ Hill. He said she got knocked out young or that bitch done. <laughs> Shout out to CJ Hill. This is the guy who said if we don't draft CJ Stroud, you were gonna knock your, your brother's girlfriend out. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, apparently, you got there, CJ. that's what he said. He said she got knocked out. I'm assuming you texted me from jail, man. Call in, man, tell, or send me another donation. Tell me, did you actually do it? We don't condone violence on here, but uh, I, I, I was on, I was on the CJ Stroud train too at the beginning. You know what I'm saying? And then once I started watching the film, bro, when I started watching the games, it was just obvious, man. You didn't have to come. Nobody had to really convince me otherwise. Once I started watching the film, it was, mm-hmm. it was plain as day, bro. Oh, yeah. And which one was the better quarterback, you know? And at first I was like, when I first seen Bryce, I was like, man, this kid's small. There's no way. But, bro, yeah. like, he, he plays, you know, in the SEC, he plays bigger than his size. I was like, bro, yeah. this dude out here making nothing out of something, making something out of nothing, you know, like, bro, I, I got to have yeah, hundred percent. And Saban loved him. Saban said he's the best quarterback he's had. Mm. So that's kind of neat. Mm-hmm. Also, yeah, man. I think I think we gotta. I think we're gonna have a magical season. I'm not saying anything crazy. I don't want to jinx this at all. But I think we got our division. So. Mm-hmm. I, I will say this: we're, we're, there's going to be more excitement in the fan base than we've had in the past oh, five uh, years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, I mean, everything the players are saying about the old coaching staff, now that they got one, this is a real coaching staff. and We probably won't have the same one next year because I think guys are due for a, a head coaching job already. But yeah. I think we could have an awesome uh, experience. So. Dustin, you coming to the gay TL week one? No oh, man. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, I went to a I went to a game in the uh, you asked me about how many games. I went there too. I went to watch a Monday night football game in Atlanta when I lived in Lawrenceville. Watched the uh, Broncos and uh, Falcons one year, 2012, first game of the year. You be safe down there, big cat. When you go to Atlanta, man, don't let the talk fuck you up. Man, you got to, man. Listen, I, I ain't never had no trouble in there. I mean, I, I had a parking lot attendant, nigga. Uh, he was he was a Falcon fan, obviously, man. And um, I told the boy. Um, so he was an attendant. I told him, I said, look, I'll put two hundred dollars that we gonna beat y'all. Now, mind you, this is with uh, this is with Sam Darn. I said, I put two hundred dollars. We gonna beat y'all. He said, All right, I'll see you when you come back out. Now, he owned the goddamn lot, the parking lot boy. And, uh, shit, nigga, we beat him. We beat him, man. And I came back, and I was looking for that dude. That nigga was gone, man. Oh, of man. course. Yeah. He scooted. That, that was some suck-ass <laughs> shit. Now, if I would have lost, I, he would have been out there waiting by the Yeah. Yeah. Whole-ass nigga. So, that's why I said, you know what, man? I said, man. But uh, I told you last time we beat him, nigga, I was in that bitch doing the dirty bud in the corner, though. I had to, I got to get the camera footage from my uh, my sister. She was with me. I told you my sister, she born in Jacksonville, North Carolina, but she don't she don't claim the Panthers, man. Like she don't root against them, but she don't claim them. I don't know. It's, it's fucking weird. I, I don't know why she's like that, but she was with me. I was doing the dirty bud in that bitch, bro, in the court. I love it. Doing the oh, fucking dirty bud, man. You know what I mean? My yeah. my dad was a Bears fan. Not supposed to be a Bears fan. My mom was a Niners fan. Right. But the fact that I married a Niners fan and she's trying to fucking make my kid. Yes. I have a four year old, and he's he loves the Panthers now. Yeah. It's the funniest thing. He'll say no no Niners, mom, go Panthers. That's it's right. like the no. funniest thing ever. So we, we've been he? dissing mom. Just he just turned four. So what but he, he loves them. That's, the, that's amazing because he's four years old, and uh, yeah. all these four years, all we've been is trash. So I, the fact that he's a Panthers <laughs> fan, mm-hmm. and, uh, and he's, <laughs> you know, because all he's seen, he ain't, he ain't seen 2015. He didn't experience oh, no. that. No, no. What's cool, though, is I've taken him to the Texan games, and that's a that's a layup, you know what I mean? So I drive out to Houston three hours, three and a half hours from here. First game he went to, Texans game with McCaffrey. Uh, we think we had shit. Who was our quarterback at the time? 
the Texas it game? Was, it was after Cam. Fuck, what's his name? Not Heineke. Heineke played that year. It was after Cam. It was Teddy Bridgewater. Uh, Allen. Kyle Allen. Oh, Allen. Is that right? Yeah, Kyle. We had Kyle Allen. Yeah, it was Kyle that Allen. year when. Oh. P season. Oh yeah. And he was showing out of the game. It was nuts. That uh, tip ball catch and shit. I saw that right in front of me at the sideline. Out, bro. I knocked her out for the, for the team. You know, for Stroud. We lost Stroud. You know, fuck it. <laughs> now it's young or she done. And that's just how it's gonna be. So not- hey, did you did you did you scream loud for Stroud right before you punched her? <laughs> no, I, I was crying though. I cried a little bit before mm-hmm. I did it. I felt bad. Mm-hmm. But she had to go. So so when you when you hit her, man, did she make a noise? Uh well, like after no. Like before she was like talking, we were outside drinking yeah. and I was like, fuck it. I got to do it. I can't be a liar. Yeah. So I just, you know, did it. Mm-hmm. So what did your brother do? Uh, he didn't, you know, like it. But, you know, it was all in good fun. He's a Panthers fan, too. He understood. Mm-hmm. You know, Stroud was the bigger guy. So your brother didn't mind you whooping his bitch's ass. But now it's young. <clears throat> Well, my brother's short. He's oh, okay. actually like, he technically could be a dwarf, but he's like broke that five foot mark. Yeah. Now, how big are you? I'm average, you know, five seven. Mm-hmm. That's average. Five five. I think five nine in America is average, to be honest. But I know a lot of five seven people. You know, I stick to my. My circle. <laughs> Your circle. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. All right, but I didn't knock her out. That would have been bad, you know. We so what? What did you do? You, but so so what exactly did you do? Don't don't claim. What did you do? Not well, nothing, dude. So you lied. But. You lied to like, I told her. Did you lie to I told her. I told her. She should get knocked out. CJ, did you lie to? Did you yes. lie to? Her, did you? Did you lie to us? About what? About about, about, what? about knocking her out? You yeah. really think I'm gonna knock somebody? Let's out? get you the fuck out of here. You lie to me. You don't. You don't lie to me. You know. You, you don't lie to me, motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you. Why you lie to me? Why you don't you ever lie to me? I told you I don't like niggas and I don't like liars. I don't like either one of them. You just lied to me. If just if, if, you, if, the, if the bitch got what came to her because you 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 got what came to her, but don't lie to me. We was waiting on that shit. Yeah, nigga. Motherfucker, he lied to me. I don't like niggas or liars. Do I look like a nigga? And I sell them lies. <laughs> Hey, hey, okay. hey, hey. Let's get you the fuck out. I, I didn't even hear the part where he said the knocking out a yeah, girl part. You fucking liar! Don't lie to me. Hey, hey big he's, a, he's a he's a nigga and a liar. He's ain't a he? nigga and a liar. Now, now you <laughs> you're officially the term that what I be talking about. You came on here. You said you did the deed, and then you backed out of it. Uh, oh my god! Fucking nigga. I got to get up. Yeah, I got to drop this load. I'm in Alabama mm-hmm. now, man. Make sure you wear protection. Hey, congrats, brother. Congrats, man. Hey, Safe travels. Yes, sir. Safe travels. Put that in 